Ready, ready, ready. Look what we're gonna be playing today. We're gonna be playing more ex-pirates. I'm kind of excited for this. It's uh, it's been painful. It's uh, left the sting. I've seen people evaporate. I've seen people get painfully mowed down. Uh, practically dynamite dropped at my feet. But I don't know. I really do appreciate the futility of it all. Um, most of it, at least. Yeah, most of it. And I'm ready to uh, indulge a bit more. Now, we've been having a bit of a bumpy ride. I won't say necessarily as bad as April's been, but May has definitely presented presented its challenges. Um, we've actually done a relatively good job expanding our current capacity. We got an analytics room, we got some hyperwave decoders, we have a prison coming up. Plenty of researcher uh, people to interrogate, unfortunately. We'll get around to that uh, hopefully sooner than later. And yeah, other than that, we've completed our school graduation. Not school graduation, we went back to school. I wish we graduated already. Which uh, gives an ample amount of new researchers, which we slowly have been churning through. Um, currently, uh, we have a few goals that I'd like to uh, accomplish, which I haven't really put in my notes, weirdly enough. Uh, one of them being... Full plate armor. For which we need the riot shield. Now, um, this is the only thing that we're missing. Once we have full plate armor, it's gonna be fantastic, because that is gonna be your de facto armor against the sky ninjas. Fingers crossed, let's hope that's gonna be the case. It will also give us access to industrial tools, which we need for... Why do I always come back to industrial tools? Red lingerie, right! This will actually uh, enhance our enslaving capabilities because we'll be able to enslave raider scouts and we'll be able to, able to enslave uh, ninja... ninja gals. This is why I cared about industrial tools. I can't for the life of me recall why I cared about it. Assault marine armor is cool, but we're not going to be, not gonna be getting that anytime soon. Advanced fire weapons... Uh, very far out, heavy craft weapons is cool, but not gonna have a precision manufacturing. Improved the alarm the selling is neat, and factory will be neat as well, but you know, long time out. Ooh, the boom gun. <laughs> I'd like to make more boom guns, they're pretty fun shotguns. And we also should be getting optronics computing. Either way, um, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's having a pretty good weekend. Assuming it is weekend, last time I checked it was. Yeah, yeah, it still is. <laughs> it still is. Well, I'm, I'm actually... I'm actually glad that some people don't get bored of this. I feel like nothing is happening. I feel like you don't have to watch 12 streams and you come back. And we're still in May. It's probably like 19 or 20 May. And I'm just complaining about the Sky Ninjas. I don't know, I feel like our progress has been uh, pathetic, <laughs> for a lack of a better word. It's been absolutely pathetic. Eternal May, let's go. It's gonna be mayhem. Um, either way, we're gonna be tearing down the outpost, that much I can guarantee already. Now, why do we have a still in this base? Why do we have a still? I love booby wars. I'm bad with X-Bars, but I'm good with the X-Files for the hotel. Thank you, Adaptus. That's right. We needed the hotel for the cultural uh, cultural facility. A bit unfortunate, but we'll survive. Like, all I can say, Shira, is just you can experiment a, a little bit. Um, I feel like the switch, the mental switch to uh, being more aggressive with melee is quite, quite important. And I guess trial and error. And it also helps if people actually tell you what to do instead of, you know, blindly running around. Still, X-Files is a fun game as well. Sorry, a fun mod as well. Uh, we have a convoy that we're gonna keep around because I'd like to clear out um, cyber... No, Raider Arms Factories. I don't know why I want to call them cyber hideouts. And we have a Redman Village that we're gonna be starting with. Now, this is a fairly simple mission that we really shouldn't particularly care that much about. Um, but I care. Raise the boobies, exactly. I care quite a bit, because I'd like to use this to obtain some experience for these people. We have a bunch of new people uh, flo uh, flying in, or uh, rolling in, and we're gonna probably make sure that they survive at least long enough to gain some experience. 
Okay, uh, with all that being said and done, I don't think I have anything else left to add to this. There's lots of things that I'd like to pick up. Uh, Sicarius armor is one of them. Um, we need to get our interrogations going. But right now, when it comes to armors, I think we're relatively fine. But uh, more people means more armors, and I don't want to keep buying Neko uh, Samurai armor, so I really hope that we're going to be proccing the secret deal sometime soon. And then we can use the secret deal to uh, get heavy armor, or... I don't know, maybe we'll use more flycats. Okay, uh... <laughs> I don't think I don't think we need a mortar. Uh, once we're done with this mission, I probably should go through my notes to verify everything's in order, and that is that. I don't know what else to say here. I don't know what else to say here. Hmm. All right, so it's definitely not a night mission. Don't let the game fool you. Gold plate was my workhorse armor for basically every girl, 100% degree. I think it worked incredibly well when you're dealing with, um, when you're dealing with, uh, what you call it? With sky ninjas, or piercing in general. I think it actually has like what 80% piercing resistance. But once you approach the level of plasma and dealing with uh, stuff like iridium, that's when things get quite nasty. Uh, without much further ado, let's get the show on the road. I don't particularly enjoy keeping my Lochner out like that, but we'll see. Death to Doggo. Oh my, three Doggos. One Doggo remains. Hey, somebody just shot into my craft. Oh! And no friendly fire occurred, that is fantastic. So who still needs experience? Plenty of people, unfortunately. So let's first figure out who doesn't need experience. Um, I see a cat girl, Meme, uh, Meme Lemons, who needs experience. Uh, Natsume. Who's Natsume? I feel like I should know Natsume. Ah, here we go, okay. Hmm. Anyways, um, let's make sure everybody gets experience, uh, we'll get a few kills in, and I don't know. Just some experience, shooting people in the back of the head, uh, no, 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 that's not the experience you need. Okay then. Wow, uh, that's, by the way, brutal. Incredibly brutal. Ooh, alright. If we can catch the mob lieutenant alive, that would be nice, but... Uh, lucky cat. Uh, you know, it depends on your definition of lucky. Depends on your definition of lucky. But, well, we're alive. <laughs> Definitely lucky. <laughs> uh, we're alive, that's all that matters in the end. Yeah, that was nasty. I did not spot him like that. Probably should have. So how are we gonna do this? Does anybody have a large medikit on them? Field surgery kit, to be more precise. It doesn't look like it. No bullets in the rifle, wait, which one? Why are we... Uh, I don't know, I don't know why this keeps happening. I think not all my Omega rifles unfortunately have ammo. Which is currently kind of the problem. Yeah, so we're short on Omega rifle ammo. Hmm, that's annoying, that's incredibly annoying, but what you gonna do? What you gonna do when your ammo doesn't come for you?
Do anybody who can actually dispense a large amount of healing? That is the other question I have. <laughs> it's a great gun, but that boy is scarce. That's one way of putting it, yeah. Um, shit. Impromptu pacifist run, oh no. Anything but that. Okay, well, mm. Eh, sure, let's just mow this guy down. There we go, alright. So, Cat Crawl, please be healed. And I do know that means that we gotta use a, um,. We gotta use a oh, son of a does nobody there we go an advanced medikit for the last two uh, pieces of damage which puts us at almost fully healed up who would have thought that this mission would have taken such a dark turn uh, this quickly so yeah still uh, some people who need experience let's get it over with wow i actually started to worry that we weren't gonna kill the doggo Okay, uh, so Boglin and Koruki. Who the hell is Koruki? Ah, uh, no? Who the hell is Koruki? Oh, great. Alright, everybody spread out, let's get this uh, done. <laughs> I don't like using explosives for a particular reason. That is way too uh, way too close for comfort already. Oops. Accidentally misclicked. That's great. Getting too old for this. We're not done yet? Okay. Um, I can work with that. Oh. Oh? Oh. Alright. Oh, we... We evaporated him. We just completely disintegrated this corpse. That's beautiful. Anyways, um, as you can see, everything worked out. Everybody got experience. <laughs> Though we did get hurt a little bit. Ah... Uh, we're victorious. It might not feel like it, but yes, yes we are. Alright, we tag it, we bag it, and then we probably make sure everything is in the right place. Except Glamour and Money Purses. Jeez, we're really getting uh, quite a bit, quite an amount of apples. Well, that way I know we're not going to run out of Chateau de la Morte. So that's good. Alright, good job everybody. Nobody died, which is a weird statement to make for a Redman village, but it is what it is. Our cult in Fuso is flourishing. We're getting a lot of donations from our fans and even offered to work as idols. That's right. Ooh, here we go, the Imperial Probe. The Empire launches these tiny shiny things to investigate strange activity sites. Uh, following them to their target takes some patience, but who knows what adventure awaits us when they're uh, where they're heading. I don't know, we blew it up. Evaporating a body with one punch or the fact that an ogre landed a blow in melee against a red man. <laughs> it probably just stomped. Just put its foot down, it was done with the, with the nonsense. It just happened to put its foot down on top of the red man. Let your it. Do we have another drifter? No. Do we have an engineer? Yes, a Skyforge engineer, but I'm holding off on Skyforge engineers for... Until we proc them off the ninja scroll. But do we have more ninja scrolls? I don't think we do. Hmm. Do I have a second Skyforge engineer? That should be the next question I should be asking. Either way... Oh, wait, we're not done with the military police. Government paper, base supplies. 
wherever secret base exists, it needs to be constantly supplied. Tracking a supply run to its landing zone is a, sh a surefire way to find a secret base. We should be wary though, the owners know that their flights are easily, predict uh, easily predicted and have made precautions against thieves. They will fight to the death knowing that their ship is rigged to explode. If they cannot defeat the enemy swiftly enough. That's right. What about Enterprise? Not entire, Enterprise. What does that lead to? A mint? Hmm. Oh man, I wish, I wish we had, would have Apple-nomics with a, uh, what was it? A cloning facility, a cloning center. Okay. Anything else? What else did we proc? Yeah, military police. The riot grenade, a heavy thrown explosive used by military police. Its primary function is to stun and confuse victims, but it is known for being often quite lethal. Its explosion is very spectacular to watch, though. Instantly explodes on impact with special disruptions for reaction. And it's extra lethal, but eh. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna put some more people on cruising counselors for the time being, and I'm gonna ship over some uh, some additional uh, ooh, nice victims. I mean prisoners. I'd like to interrogate the guild engineer for documentation, but well, hmm. he has 48 topics. Oh, sorry, guild air sailor, my bad, but 25 topics. Okay. Let's do kill their sailor. We got to proc uh, cruising counselors before the end of the month, so that's something we're working on. That's gonna be cool. We have a golden apple coming up. Let's ship some people. So, to my main base, I want to ship a drifter. This is the last drifter, by the way, for the last topic. Flintlock gas balls. And then we need to ship some military police. Uh, three topics, so, yep. We we'll also ship the second Skyforge engineer, and then we start research. Yeah, 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 checks out. Then we'll start researching the Skyforge engineer. So the problem is, I cannot proc a Sky. Ah, shit. Do I really particularly care about the Skyforge engineer at the moment? I need to spy on the ninjas. That's the big problem here. Well, we'll make it work. I don't think I need to uh, interrogate a s engineer just yet, a uh, Skyforge engineer, but we need to do it in the near future. Smooth captive, the technocracy. Little is known of the inner workings of the technocracy, as almost no one leaves the country. And those who do are as clueless as outsiders. Speaking of a life in sprawling industrial cities among masses of zombie-like compatriots. There is no question though that the technocracy is big on all things cybernetic, from surveillance systems to outright robots and cyborgs. As the rulers of the country seem to be completely silent to the outside world, the vision of endless armies of automata setting out someday to conquer the planet is a popular scare in neighboring lands. However, such an event has yet to happen, and the general consensus is that the technocracy is ears deep in internal trouble caused by social unrest, the heavy tides that star gods demand, and if you're willing to listen to the wilder rumors, by rogue machines. Ah, we can learn about America. No thanks. Smooth captive it will be. <laughs> this is the last topic, Romanica. And once we have Romanica, that is... Ooh, we can, up, by the way, purchase electronic parts, which is quite nice. But once we have Romanica, um, I think I can start doing some of the other interrogations I've been postponing. We're finally moving forward with interrogations, which is quite nice. Very nice. We have a Cobra. Alright. Cobra, Cobra. Send in the Claw. Actually, send in the Hunter Killer. By the way, look at this. It's been a while since our Hunter Killer was fully... Uh, had a full loadout and fully repaired. I mean, used to be fully repaired. Okay. 
Als, uh, als Feindel. Oh shit, we brought a Lugner with us. Okay. I did not anticipate a Lugner showing up. Um, sure. Just gotta play it careful, right? Yeah, I'm not too happy about the Lugner being here, but we'll see how it goes. I spy with my little eye at least two Bloodhounds, and what else do we see? A Brigand. It's a bit dark. The main issue I have with my Lochner at the moment is that um, they're, uh, if they get hit, they probably are going to be quite a bit hurt. They don't have actual armor. <laughs> In the dark they look like red hopping habits. Red hopping rabbits, there you go. Uh, those will be a lot more peaceful than uh, these things, right? Alright, so the brigand's is gonna go down here. Wow, quicker than expected. Woof, woof, woof. Okay, time to close the distance. Where did that bloodhound go? Ah, oh, there he is. Alright, now we can breach. Breach like we haven't breached before. Got him. I actually really do enjoy... Uh, Alright, oh yes. Um, I really do enjoy... Fighting these cobras with like two people. It'd be cooler if they both were cat girls though. Right in the back. Beautiful. Two hostages taken. That's a big win. And one of them is a hitman. An even bigger win. Um, how many topics left on the hitman? Two. Precision laser. Ooh. Wow. That's neat. And hitman brotherhood. And then the brigand who we can enslave. Tag it, bag it, ship it, and shit. I should have double checked the items we were selling there. Okay. Anyways, I should calm down with uh, the amount that I'm talking. I just keep blabbering on. We don't need an infantry rifle, do we? No, no we don't. So, what are we gonna send to Cataway? Definitely the credits. The Hitman and the Brigand. Small ship engines. And the glamour. And the rest is gonna go to our main base. Actually, not everything. We're gonna keep the rounds and the spike rockets here. Aye, aye, storage space exceeded at production one. Okay, color me surprised. I did not see that coming from miles away. So in the near future, we might actually need to ship some uh, additional prisoners. Might need to ship some additional slaves to this base. Bye bye, Uberweed. Veteran ice cold killer Lady Luck. Look at this. Look at these condemnations that purebred Felonia has just uh, raked in. That's really good. So how many free storage space do I have? That's not a lot. Okay, um, <laughs> it looks like we're gonna soon have another uh, storage issue. I've been hoarding, I've been very aggressively hoarding. How about we check out our one-handed melee weapons? What can I get rid of? Not much, not much at all. Um, if 
I need time to sell those apples. <laughs> uh, anything, anything but my apples, please. We need one vibroblade for research. No, we don't. So we recently got a bunch of items, um, pistols and the likes that I'd like to get rid of. Bunch of ones, by the way, that we would probably want to use in the near future. Way too many flamethrowers, let's uh, reduce that to two. I don't particularly need boom fruits. Um, I can keep it around for boom plantation. I really, really should be researching this, shouldn't I? Yeah, I really should be researching this. Mm. How do you sort, uh, sort by way? Okay, yeah, I don't really talk about it, but um, if you hold the control button while you click on all items, you sort by weight, or really any category, I guess. And if you hold the alt button while you do it, it's by value. And I think control shift is for each individual item. Weight per individual item. Let me just double check this, hold up. Yeah, so there you go. If you hold control, it's for all items combined. Control shift, it's for each individual item. And same goes for alt. Alt is all items, alt shift is for each individual item. Hence, the clause, the most expensive. I, at some point, my brain just completely fizzled. I couldn't remember how to do this anymore, and it just... I really, really am so dependent on this feature. I can't live without it. So handy to have. What about pistols? Any pistols I'd like to sell? By the way, we should probably be using shiny niners in the ASAP. Not even in the near future, just ASAP. Golden pistol. I should be shipping the golden pistol at least. Golden SMG. Same dealio there. Should be shipping that. In case you're curious why I'm keeping plasma weapons around but I'm not using them. A. I cannot use them. And B. I'd like to disassemble them when the time is right. Military shotguns. Yeah, we're not really using military shotguns anymore, but I'm gonna keep uh, four of them around. No? Yes. I'm gonna keep four of them around for now for base defenses. Then there's also the UAC shotgun, uh, the Salt of Blunderbuss, the regular Blunderbuss, the CAWS, the Boom Gun. Everybody loves the Boom Gun. You know, we don't actually have a lot of weapons. Expected more weapons. Alright, so yeah, we're never going to be using the Coral Crossbow, but I need one for research. We have no more room in storage, meanwhile the captain keeps 50 life-size models of herself. Hey, hey, hey. Sometimes you're allowed to indulge, right? We have way too many stun bolts. So originally I was planning on using a Harpoon Carbine with stun bolts to stun enemies from range. But then we got the Combat Shotgun. There is a light currently going on in my head. Hold up. Why are we not running with harpoon carbines to stun enemies from a distance? Because this is the issue I've been having. I've been trying to snipe people halfway across the map with a assault shotgun with stun rounds. Why do we not just use a harpoon carbine for that? Because I'm lazy, but... That shouldn't be an excuse. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna make a few re uh, readjustments here. I I don't know. I don't know. I I didn't think of that. It's like I have an epiphany. <laughs> it's like I just just now woke up. All right. I don't need a battle rifle. I do know what the what a battle rifle is, right? Yes, I do. Boarding gun. Yeah, the stun ammo is behind a ton of research. Uh, I think you need pharmacology. But we have 160 clips. It takes us quite a while to drain 160 clips. And we can actually soon learn about pharmacology, so that's an even worse excuse on my end. Uh, 
Uh, that is 200 precision. What about Daka Daka Daka? Spray guns can go. Um, the mini SMG can go. Use assault shotguns to look cooler. I mean, they're pretty cool. They're pretty damn cool. Especially if you put it right behind somebody's, uh, <laughs> right behind somebody and just pull the trigger, they turn into a one red blob and then fall to the ground. That is that is enjoyable. I mean, in the perfect reality, in my reality, we just miss point blank shotguns. We just miss. Man, we never ended up using the longbow, did we? A bit disappointed. We don't need an old tank buster. I don't think we need RPGs anymore. We're now using rocket launchers. We keep the LASS. And we keep the mini launcher. So yeah, that works. Ah. Uh. I think this is fine. Don't want to tweak too much with it. I like the longbow, but the time unit cost is too high when I don't use enough gals. I do agree. But I think the real power of the longbow is that you, in theory, only need one shot. That's all you need, one shot. And if you're proficient enough, you don't even need line of sight. But I prefer the, uh, the hunting bow, and I think the hunting bow eventually the survival bow no, the survival bow is the one with aimed shot, not snapshot. If I remember correctly, I might be misremembering this. We should be using poison arrow. Look how much space I'm freeing up, just getting rid of like miscellaneous weapons. But yeah, I like the hunting bow. I should be using- oh my god, what am I doing? I should be using them more often. What about intelligence? Hey, we should really check out electro flares. I'd love to start using electro flares. Okay, I think we're done here. This is this is good enough, yeah. Deal, and then we're gonna ship to a cataway. We're gonna start with Harpoon. What else do we have besides Darkpoon? Wasn't I looking at weapons? I'm like, oh yeah, that needs to go to this base, that needs to go to that base, yada yada yada, blah 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 blah. Maybe. Ah oh, man, I should be using Fusa Swords. Okay. Pistols. Ah, <laughs> yes, thank you, Brain. The golden weaponry. That's what I was thinking about. Golden pistols and golden SMGs. I do want to ship that. Okay, so let's save. Um, I'm going to quickly take a quick detour here. First of all, poison daggers. So I would like at least one or two poison daggers if possible. When I say one or two, I mean four, apparently. And I want to check out more of the melee weapons we could potentially uh, make. Okay, okay, plan B, plan B. Um, how about we check out tools of trade? We pull up the poison dagger. Ta da, bio damage. But instead, what we're going to be doing is we're basically going to take a peek at all the available melee weaponry that we know about. And then we're going to see what might actually work for cat girls. So cat girls have two things really going for themselves, which is um, melee, at least bravery. I know their bravery bravery can go up to 140. And reactions, that was it. So that's that's like the things that they really excel with. So let's ignore bravery and just look towards melee and reactions. That is something that we probably would like to see in a uh, weapon, like a dagger. A knife requires strength and bravery. Um, 
The long knife is strength and bravery as well. 20 stabbing though. The nice thing is I think this ignores... No. Oh, I actually thought this ignored 10% armor. Hmm. Uh, yes, we're, uh, we're definitely going to be using the poison dagger most likely. Also, the bio damage is quite nice. I always thought the bio damage here damaged time units, but... Um, Well, will you look at that? Just casually ignoring half the armor. Then corrected on that part. Monster Mano. I think we already uh, <laughs> we already figured out what we're going to be using here. Ah, the other is the medical slicer, but that would require voodoo power, bravery, and melee, and it's laser damage. But this does ignore how much percent of the armor? 0%, but it does do pre-damage, which is okay. So let's say that we have 50 voodoo power and 100 bravery. And 100, and 100, 100 melee, 100 bravery, that's 50 damage. And then add to that um, 10, 60. That's 105 laser damage for one swipe. Not too bad, but we're not really getting benefits, uh, the benefit out of our uh, reactions. And this is more voodoo related, unfortunately. Strength and melee. Ah, the old sword, which is melee, bravery and strength. Attack blade. Nekomimi. This, this thing is golden, I'm telling you. This thing is like, if I could buy a thousand of them, I will buy them today. For the price of $9.99 per, uh, per unit, right? Yeah, I think uh, I think that basically concludes it. <laughs> An IV pool. One in each hand and uh, one blade in uh, the tail, right? Cat balls is really cool as well, but the issue that I have with cat balls is the armor effectiveness and the fact that. Um, Cutting damage. We really should be using the cap ball to get rid of enemy armor, but I think the dagger also kind of bypasses that. Okay, I think that roughly about sums it up, so yeah, um, I probably want to double down on this and just get eight of them. Like, I'm serious, we're probably gonna, gonna switch between them. And then we're going to continue our research with the military police. Now, for the military police, I do want to slap uh, four people on it, if I can. Ah, already selected him, didn't I? No, I didn't. No, I hit it. That's curious. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna grab four people, or five people. Do I want to slap five people in there? Uh, the average for this is, let's see, 10 days. You can undershoot it by, what was it, 50%? So it's five days up to 15 days. So with five people, it's either done in one, two or three days. I was trying to hide, he did a good job. So yeah, five people will do. Anyways, let, let us uh, continue on to our notes, which I talked about. So this is kind of like the rough plan. This doesn't look like a plan at all. This does not match the plan that I have in my head, but this is a plan. Um, we need to get refinery. We need to get zero tolerance to zero tolerance. Uh, the technocracy contacts power station, which will be nice, but we need to get circuitry. Circuitry is quite important. That's definitely going to be done this month to get a bit of tolerance computing. Uh, it will be nice to have the surgery room. Producing counselors, industrial printer, and defender armor, but those are long-term goals. Why did I care about gemology again? Uh oh. Why did I care about gemology again? 
Ah, Magitech, right. Why did I care about Magitech? Oh yeah, the cut silver, uh, Quicksilver Cutlass, which also requires Magneto Harmonic, so... <laughs> it's funny. Which requires Warship Hull, which I believe is 80 uh, research days, so... Uh, no bueno there. Um, we have people here, which is fantastic. Am I actually giving them transformations? I am not, so let's get that over with. Battleship from the mercenaries on the crackdown mission. Oh boy. <laughs> you know, I'm actually really disappointed with how I set up my bases. This dead zone right over here is pretty nasty. Those guys are gonna land, aren't they? So I wanna take some golden weaponry with me. This will be used by the cats, potentially. Uh, what else, what else, what else did I have? Right, the harpoon. By the way, um, it might actually be worthwhile pursuing the uh, better version of the harpoon carbine. Oh wow, we already had harpoon stuff here. If I remember correctly, there is a better version of the Harpoon Carbine, which is the autom Automatic. The automatic Harpoon Gun, if I'm saying it correctly. Let's double check that. And then we also get some Poison Daggers over there. Yes, the Automatic Harpoon Gun, which requires a Craft Harpoon Launcher, and it requires Combat Bow Aqua Arrows, which requires the Coral Expo. In the Aqua Trident, apparently. Yikes. Ah, uh, okay, well, um, yeah. We'll think about it. Excavator from the Guild. I would like to set up some, um, vision on this dead spot. Ah, the Boogeyman. This little creature is clearly unnatural, even if we shy away from using the word demonic. That is what it appears. The creature doesn't appear to have any higher values, it is simply relentlessly mischievous and vicious. Apart from that, it seems to be only driven by hunger and lust, and if these are sated, it becomes less aggressive for a while, until bored or provoked. Ah, speaking of the la uh, ladder, the girls need to be firmly warned about its lust-rousing mesmeratic powers. Even if we have repeatedly failed to resist these, if not for our fuel safe contingency plans, we'd be goners. Gather day. Yes. Yes, it is, Knepple. <laughs> Might seem like an ordinary day, because that's how often I stream this game, but gather day it is. And the Coral Expo. Great. Da -da -da. Large prison has been completed, which means that we can finally ship to El Gato. For 23 quartessons. Bye bye, which frees up a plantora of uh, face. Fantastic. Speak about fantastic, smooth captive Romanica. The most iconic features of the landscape are numerous stone castles, from small keeps to sprawling fortresses, fortified with every known weapon up to intercontinental missiles. These castles are the ancestral homes to numerous aristocratic families, jointly ruling the land, often clashing, sometimes even warring with each other. The country is mostly deforested and dusty, but still contains huge swaths of agriculture farmed by local peasantry, who are often reasonably well off, that is, until some clashing faction sets their houses on fire, but are forbidden to possess any advanced technology. The capital, Ground Zero, is, mostly neutral, is a mostly neutral zone where the landlords meet to discuss general politics. The families might often hate each other, but they hate their neighboring countries even more. The capital's name comes from the old tale that during the nuclear war, an ancient city that stood there was hit by the first and biggest warhead of mass destruction. Hardly any ruins remain, and today's city is a place of numerous luxury entertainment establishments. Ah, road lore, Europe, but more important, context, Romanica. Captive yeah, bug eye, let's do it. A uh, Megapole Dropship. A Megapole Dropship. Have we seen a Megapole Dropship before? I think we have. Captain Worldwide. Uh, 
I mean, we, we do got to proc that world lore one of these days, but we'll see. Shipping. Oh man. We don't know about uh, the, 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 the dropship. That's okay. That is the clown car one. I'm not very excited for this. For a moment I thought they were planning on attacking my um For a moment I thought they were <laughs> planning to attack my my sardine base. Um yeah. Weep 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 Um Right Ah shit that's the clown car. 100% the clown car. Okay. So, um, I need to get Contax Romanica. This one is quite important. It leads to a diplomacy and apparently also nowadays to the history of Romanica. Hmm. But diplomacy. And diplomacy is what we need for uh, zero tolerance to zero tolerance. We gotta build our way up to that. Contact Phoebs is the last obstacle, which requires VIP Cleopatra. And we can get VIP Cleopatra using the Captive Wanderer, I do believe. And who else? We have a few people that can proc this. Oh, I thought we had a few people who can proc this. Hmm. But yeah, that is the last major obstacle. Once we have VIP Cleo Cleopatra, we can get diplomacy, basically. We're doing education, culture, and hilarium economy. We could even proc off one of the uh, engineers, if we're lucky. Uh, zero tolerance to zero tolerance then also requires a new hope. And a new hope is basically locked behind the counselor. Because it would require Dr. X. Which origins of Dr. X? No, 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 not the origins of Dr. X. What was it? Dr. X protege. Which we get from blackmailing Dr. X, right? Yeah, there you go. Wait. Alright, I'm officially a bit scared. Um, we're gonna learn more about Dr. X uh, as well, I guess. <sighs> Nothing good can come from this. Nothing good at all. So, um, yeah. We are gonna be dealing with uh, the dropship. Oh, crap. How are we going to be dealing with the dropship? So, let's talk a little bit about what we're going to be facing. We're going to be facing Wolfman, Apeman, and Pigman. Wolfman are a no, no issue. They're no issue at all. Pigman are more frustrating, but we can probably just poison the living crap out of them, if need be. Apeman are very strong. They can instantly kill a cat girl with one punch. They like to throw riot grenades, just all of the enemies together, which means we cannot stack up. And there obviously are also going to be uh, the bladed things that we're going to have to deal with. Shit. I think I have an idea on how to deal with this and it's going to cost us people. It is definitely going to cost us people. Um, I'm going to be bringing the best of the best because what I'm about to do is just stupid. They might even have plasma. Actually, let's check out the own freshness. 
Ooh, I don't know if I want to take people with 20 with me. Those people are quite important. We'll see. Who can I otherwise take with me? Silky Fins is quite exhausted. Um. Let's take light landing at least. Yeah, we'll take light landing and then I'm gonna go and scroll up. We'll take uh, three more kitty cats. Oh jeez. Flying Bonificia is uh, relatively new. I feel like we're suffering quite a bit from fatigue. Lots of people are quite wounded, but um, that's okay. I mean, better wounded than that, right? And hissing somersault. But we have two options. First of all, we run around in Neko Samurai armor, which is what I'm partially thinking about, but we also need uh, some cats flying around in flycat armor. And that's where things get very nasty very quickly. Because I feel like flycats are incredibly fragile at the moment. Hell, I might even take uh, one additional flycat. No, no, this is good, this is good. Let's uh, give one of our peasants who's wearing a tech armor actually uh, a legion armor. That way she can look into uh, the darkness. Actually see something and then we are practically good to go. Let me just verify something here, poison daggers. Ah, son of a... They're still in transit, I guess. Okay, that's where the excavator went. A Mega Scorpion Hunt. Oh, that is tempting. I'd love to do a Mega Scorpion Hunt, but here's the problem with that. It requires me to rearrange people inside my craft, and I kinda don't want to do that because I'm lazy. Then there's also the excavator that we need to worry about. Let's first do the excavator, then we do the scorpion hunt. Uh, fine, I'll take I'll take my team of experienced people with me. We'll make it a very quick mission here. Okay, not that quick. Gee, calm down. We'll make it a quick mission. Let's make sure nothing bad happens. Uh, we go in, we go for a step, we go for a punch, we go for a slap, and we go out. Nothing special or fancy today. Oh, I might not even uh, I might not even go for stunning. Just straight up killing. Okay. I made up my mind. Straight up killing it will be. So one, two, three. Aha. He's a problem. Straight up killing as will be. I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding, we're just just gonna go in. Just go for it. Okay, maybe I'm kidding a little bit. When opportunity comes knocking, you better uh, knock back. With a stomp baton, preferably. Uh, lickety split, lickety split, split, splat. You guys are fine, I'm not going to intervene with that. So my biggest concern at the moment is that maybe a security guard might pop up. I 
I'm not happy. I'm not happy about what just happened here. He's literally in these two pixels, isn't he? Wait, where did I get... Unbelievable. Okay, yeah, that's on me. Damn. Well, we just got hit pretty damn hard. Um, that is sort of what I kind of wanted to avoid if possible. As you can see, that went absolutely great. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's let's not use an RPG. Let's not use an RPG, shall we? Yeah, that was that was unfortunate. That was very unfortunate. Also, Oaken uh, Oaken Narcissa has a uh, terrible terrible um, freshness. I did not realize that. Uh, we gotta fix it in the near future. RPG is fun. It is fun if we actually get to use it against the enemy, not ourselves. At this rate, we'd be using it against ourselves. Alright, the Geo needs to be sniped. Shit. That's Ranger Danger, but we didn't have the uh, energy to survive us getting attacked. Alright, no time units for all of you. No time, units for, no time units for you. That is perfectly fine with me. Let's keep moving forward. Let's have uh, Riffen uh, also move out. And let's also have Zork the Bushi run all the way over here. Maybe we'll be able to patch him up with our non-existing... Uh, <laughs> With our non-existing uh, meth kit. Let's throw let's throw one over here. Perfect. Good job, Shira. Okay. Um, yeah, without much further ado, let's see what we can do here. Okay. He bled out. Nothing to be done about that. He hasn't bled out yet. We can fix that. I mean, you know, uh, help him back up, not kill him. And then we go into the craft and we just uh, finish it. Bingo. We can fix it in that state. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying to not do. Uh, Brief uh, death into him. Aha! Yes, you were sneaking right behind her, weren't you? Tricky SOB. SOF, son of a faction. Tap. Oh shit. Tap, tap. Oh, okay. No oh, shit. Anyways, as I was saying, tap, tap, and then we go home. Uh, we only killed three of them. That is incredible. <laughs> Cactus step. That's incredibly uh, good. I'm quite happy with it. One uh, killed air sailor. We got ourselves another engineer. And then we got ourselves a seven GOs. Which we can finally uh, enslave in a fit of mass production. We do have uh, 48 metal ore. Which I can't do anything with. So uh, that kind of does suck. But we'll survive and thrive. Right. Right. Carry as when guilt engineering devil guilt engineering. We're working on it. <laughs> We're working on it. All right. So when it comes to slavery, let's go. Guilt air sailors are not gonna touch. The geos have to go. Guilt security has to go. Heavy neko when uh, when the secret deal procs. So probably never, if I had to guess. Guild Rep, Humongous Raider, and four Humanist Soldiers. And the Smooth Captive. Do I rescue her? Do I enslave her? 
I'll probably rescue the smooth, ca uh, smooth captive. My reasoning being that uh, as apparently we're enslaving her. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna rescue the smooth captive. My reasoning being that um, a slave mate is not that great of a slave to get. So I don't see a particular reason to go for a slave mate. Take that as me calling your cats fat. Ha! <laughs> ah. Uh, it's okay, they'll just throw a hissy fit. Uh-huh, Cosmic Fighter. Uh, how's that crackdown going anyways? Ah, here's the poison daggers that I've been waiting for. Hmm, okay, uh, the crackdown is gone. So, yeah, Mega Scorpion Hunt. I'd rather wait and first do the Mega Pool. Warehouse Wars. Ooh, the Trader Guild's Warehouse. Mm -hmm. Some missions are starting to show up. We'll try to do it during night time. I'm being way too loud. Mega Scorpion Hunt can wait. Let's start with the dropship. So, I want to remove people with low freshness. So, no space warriors over here. Light landing can stay in place. That's the only exception I'm willing to make. And if we had one more day, um, I'm pretty sure we can get some additional people in here. But, as unfortunate as it is, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Think about taking some ogres with me. But then I wonder what are my ogres gonna do, right? Beats me. Also, I would like to get better ogre armor, but um, one problem at a time. Actually, highly debating on taking uh, the space hero with me. So Meme's freshness isn't fantastic. She's a bit unfresh, but she'll survive. So let's uh, double check the armors and then dive in. Uh, maybe a fly cat. So we have two fly cats. That's a very low amount, but we'll make it work. Okay. Fly cats against the uh, mega pool. We'll see how that plays out. It's ogre. It always has been. So um, let's go with heavy rifles and large medikits. And some healing. And some grenades. Check. Next up, Zork the Bushy. Now, Zork, he uh, over here could actually be using the, the rocket launcher, but that's not gonna happen. I'm thinking about giving him the minigun. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Of course, we won't. Gonna have to figure out the Omega, Omega clip situation. But not right now. And then we'll have poison gas grenades. So I've decided to use poison gas grenades instead of um, instead of the hallucinogen grenades because I just rather use lethal damage at this point. This works. This kind of works. I'll stick with that. Probably make uh, a few adjustments. There we have it. Alright. 
So now that we've taken care of that, let's uh, go back to where we were. Next up is the cat crawls. So these cat crawls are actually going to be using the Golden SMG, that much I've already uh, set my mind on. Up to 86 damage. So let's see if this, uh, if this is going to work. I hope it will. I hope it will. Next up, we have or Loknarsh. Poison gas grenades for them as well. Look at the firing, by the way. It's pretty sweet. It did not. Oh, I know. I don't need to spoiler that. It's uh, pretty obvious. Glam, 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 glam. Uh, will make a difference. Oh. Then we have Lickety Split, we have Shira, and we have Creamy. Which of you three does the most damage with the blade? The blade to cut it all. Looks like we have a clear winner here. It's Lickety Split Chocola. Let's hope that we don't lose this. Otherwise, um, we're running around with stoke blades. Those are going to become poison daggers. Uh, just as a quick... Actually, no, 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 no. I need to get right outfit and instead we're going to switch out the stomp baton with uh, poison dagger. So this is 26 to 78. This is 46 to 138. But keep in mind, this ignores 50% armor. So this is actually going to work uh, quite well against the pigmen. So that's why I'm bringing this to deal with Pikmin. My god. I don't know about Apemen. I think Apemen are gonna be relatively fine. Do I know about Apemen? I don't think I know about uh, Apemen. I only know about the Pikmin. I do know about Apemen. So they have low armor compared to the Pikmin. This is what I'm worried about. Turn one, they see me. One of them got a riot shield. Yeah, it doesn't really matter uh, because I can't really research them. Uh, we already have a riot shield at base, just can't research them. Can't wait for them to throw crap into my craft though. LOL, that would be so funny. So we're definitely gonna get poison gas grenaded here. Yeah, I thought you called as well, but it didn't show up as an option for me, unfortunately. Right, dorky boy. So, no disembarkment on turn 1, uh, a thing might just fly in and cut me, same with an apeman, they might just shoot rather side armor than my back armor. Um, he is 100% going to spot me, isn't he? Have one on my research list. Really? That's weird, I got to double check that because I know that I have a right shield in the base, I just can't research it. Unless I already have it queued up, in which case I might just as well cry and scream. Rip. Rip team. Rip team. Alright. 
So, what actually went berserk? I think this thing might have gone berserk, didn't it? No. If we shoot with, um... So the tuk 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 were definitely the golden SMGs, which means the Catapults just practically annihilated this armor and then, uh... We ninja bladed it out of existence. Cool. Right, lethal. So we can see three things right off the bat. Drone, Wolfman, Apeman. And another drone. Holy crap, okay, so these drones are actually quite active. So, this thing has been on fire, that's why it's lit up, which means we can disembark. Ooh, what up? How's the gacha box going? So, we bought the max amount of special offers that we could, and we got junk out of it, a whole load of junk. So now we have to wait until uh, next month before we can do another gacha gacha. Gonna gacha all. It was very exciting. Now do it again. Yeah, next month, right? There's a buy limit of 5 each month, if I remember correctly. Hmm, worried about him. I haven't figured out how to deal with this yet. Notice what is missing, by the way. And if anything, you get Hassan's most demanding customer out of it. You know what is missing? The Pikmin that we saw earlier. He's gone. I don't like that. Oh great, they multiplied. They, of course they bloody uh, freaking multiplied. So many of them. Uh huh. I guess it lets you buy expensive. Well, I mean, if I ever need less money on something, right? Deals 150 plasma for 1.4 million. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. It sure as hell doesn't sound like it. Thank you, Shira, for that damage. That was pretty good. And those are the only two that kind of can go down there and be done with it. Okay, um, this is not pretty. This is not gonna be pretty at all. Hmm, the problem is these two. The problem is those two, yeah. I feel like I should actually have given, uh, at least Meme Domino over here a uh, plasma gun, uh, sorry, a poison dagger as well to deal with these two. So this is definitely a change that I'd like to make. 
I just want to make it right to hell now. Oh, come on! Shit! Ah, double shit. Yeah, 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 I know. I know he's there. Then we get everybody back inside. So yeah, this place is becoming a bit lethal at the moment with uh, those friendly fellas floating about and drones uh, getting in my face. Ah, uh, another ape man nearby. That's okay, he just seems to be chilling. That's pretty good. So let's get rid of the stun button and pull out the poison dagger. So yeah, we're gonna probably use the poison dagger to try and step these two out of the sky if we can. That's my best option here. It ignores 50% of the armor, which means that if we attack its rear armor, um, it's only 25. And he takes 100% poison damage, so that's gonna be pretty good. And then hopefully we can do it to both of them. Speaking about that, I probably should take out a second dagger. My second cat girl. The final thing I'm trying to figure out is how I'm going to position people. I think I'm going to have to accept that these uh, girls are going to have to fall back down. Or even worse, somebody has to guard the entrance. If we don't guard the entrance, they might just fly and just blast us from the back, but even that won't be enough to keep us safe. So this is the best I got. Let's see how it goes. I really don't feel comfortable with this. So we've seen two ape men, we've seen um, Megapod Wolfman, and we've seen two Enforcers, and then this tiny drone that's going to try and fly up and probably uh, get shot at. Let's hope so. Okay, so uh, we had a little bit of friendly fire happen. Uh, this is definitely a third Megapool Enforcer. Lethal Selena all of a sudden got lethally shot at, and so did. Yeah, so it's seven. But he's still standing, that's all that matters. So. My god, there's another! Okay. Exactly. There's another Pikmin over here. Hmm. Hey there, silly boy. Happy Saturday, exactly. Exactly that. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Now, since I do not want to get blasted in my back, let's have a lickety split, a lickety solve this, lickety quick. Then Creamy Prisha over here, she is actually going to take out a fire extinguisher. And we're going to heal her up. Uh, we did get shot in the head, so it's actually kind of impressive. We still know how to walk around. Right, I actually should have healed him before uh, we, we skedaddled uh, all over the place. That's okay. I actually do like that we shot ourselves in the back, unfortunately. Um, and then we can, I guess, heal. Uh, that's fine. We drop the dagger, we pull out the new dagger, we probably try to get in his face, and then we go and slice and dice as much as we can. Cool. Very cool. Dagger's been working out. This is actually the first time we've used it. Like, this has been the first strike. And so far, I'm not too disappointed, actually. 
not too disappointed at all. Actually, this doesn't work. Hmm. Ah, yes, we did use it on our Lugnar. Um, we did use it on a Lugnar mission, I do think. Once or twice, but I wasn't too impressed by it back then because we weren't using it for the right right enemies. Uh, right now, we are using it for the right enemies, aka heavily armored enemies. Oh, jeez, silly boy. Wow, that's impressive. I don't know how you've managed to stay sane. Bio kills power armor. That's exactly how I'm planning on using it or thinking about using it uh, to deal with uh, or befriend uh, friendly, lovely. Um, Wow, one hit? One hit is all it took. Power armor users, yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Where would I even place him? Her. Ah, uh, that leaves me with that pig man. Uh, we're not gonna go over there and try and slice him as much fun as it may sound. It sounds pretty suicidal. I think I'm gonna place my cat crow right over here. We're gonna close this door and leave it at that. Yeah, warp damage is really rare. I, uh, rare. I think there's only one rifle, the warp rifle, if I remember correctly, that actually does warp damage. But warp is generally speaking really effective against most enemies. Do we have any... He does not have cutting resistance. Stabbing resist resistance he does have, but this is cutting. Yeah. How much do we cut for? 88. That's not great. Probably we'll just custom SMG him in the back and then we run away. As I was saying, then we run away. I'm surprised we survived the plasma rifle to the brain. I mean, it's an ogre. They don't really use their brain, so fair, fair. Okay, um... Ah, okay. We're still good, we're still good. Kinda hoping that would be more effective. Grey Codex. Hmm. Well. Where have I heard about the Grey Codex before? Oh wait, yeah, that's right. It's still lit up, by the way. Damn. I don't like the fact that he's looking at me. Okay, that thing does not want to die. Hmm. I could play this aggressively, but I don't think I'm gonna. I'm just gonna shoot him from a distance. And then do the old runaway threat. Ooh, okay. Very tempting to use, I'll admit. Daka daka daka. Zork the bushy strikes again. Even an aim shot is double, uh, double, double shot. Nice. Night vision, 12, 9, okay. But spot of 4. So he can most definitely not see me. What about him? He has 12. He can most definitely see me. I can only hope he'll bleed out. Um, hmm. 
It's getting a bit very crowded in here, I don't particularly enjoy that part. When things get quite a bit crowded, that's when trouble really starts to uh, appear. Also, probably should have put the dagger away before I took those shots, just for better accuracy. Well, at least he's bleeding, that counts for something. Um, let's just hide again. I could potentially heal him up, but I think we're fine for now. And then we just play the waiting game. Yeah, this is kind of one of the scenarios I've been quite afraid of, uh, that I just simply don't have the power, the firepower to really establish control over an area uh, because they have plasma and it'll just uh, incinerate me. Speaking about that, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> bring out the RPG. They'll probably just shrug it off, to be fair. Ha ha ha, cut down. Cut the fool down. Oh, hi, speaking about fools, um, I definitely have been one. Ooh. Been a very big fool. Right, that's why I don't want to use this craft and uh, walk out of this craft. This wreck is absolutely wrecking me. Hi. I don't think that is uh, far, far away enough, unfortunately. But yeah, now this area is dark and we can do a little bit more maneuvering, preferably. Preferably. So one of the reasons why I kind of came outside my craft is to uh, try and find the enemy. He has a night vision of 9, we have a cloak of 4, he should not be able to see me, but this is not going to do enough damage. To really get through him, unfortunately. Okay. I might need to deploy a cat crow and get close to him, and I don't like that idea. So he's still moving away. He's still chilling over here. Uh, we have this drone that's hanging out, uh, hanging out down the street. And this is where my concern kind of takes, uh, kicks up a notch. Kind of hoping that he would have gone down by now. Thank you. Yeah, 29, let's go. Okay, never mind. Don't go, I guess. So what can we see? Just those two, yeah. And he is lit up. That is something uh, worth keeping in mind as we uh, have to move away from him. Uh, this does have, fortunately, a camo of one, I do believe, or two. Two at night, so that means um, only ape men are the real danger here. So I think for now we're fine when it comes to the pigmen, as long as they don't get too close. Anyways, lots of talking, not enough uh, gameplay, right? Let's see if we can actually hit this guy. 
Ooh, that's nice, that's very nice. That is not nice at all. This is when I learned that they actually have spotter. <laughs> they shouldn't have spotter. Okay, light landing, you're the last one. My cat crows remain in sight for the time being. I must admit though, all oh right, yes, this might actually be an issue. We'll see. I must admit though, it's actually really nice having cat crows uh, that can step. I probably should have used a few more fly suits. We could have been flying around a bit more aggressively. All right. All right. No, not all right. Not all right. Abort! 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 You're getting too close. Also, I'm very afraid that he might actually get funny ideas and try to kill me, which would absolutely suck. Feel the power of my uh, gun, let's go. I'm actually very happy that we're using the custom SNGs at the moment. So, we see those two. Um, Zork the Bushy, this is the time where we're probably gonna have to pull out some of these uh, grenades. Hoping maybe he lights up. Just making sure that we didn't accidentally light ourselves up. All right. Yeah, that's more like it. Um, didn't see you there, pal. But uh, I can work with that. Or maybe we can't. Alright, we got this in the back. My god, these things are pretty cool, I'll admit. I'd like to use them a bit more frequently if possible. Apeman is bleeding out, we know there's a Pikmin over there. Um, we also know there's a Roof Pikmin that I need to take care of soon enough. I don't know if we can actually get a grenade over there, but that would be cool. Oh my god, that is pretty cool. And then we have a Loknar. The Loknar has pretty good uh, night stealth, hence I'm currently using them a bit aggressively. Anybody with time units left who could help me out here. Not that big of a problem, I think. I think they're mostly just gonna bugger off, but I'm more afraid that I might actually set something on fire by accident. No, I think we're good. I think we're good for now. I think we're good, yeah. Alright, let's finish this. So we have an apeman that we got to drop, and then we have a guy over here that we got to drop. Which we can potentially use a poison gas grenade for. Uh. Okay, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't a good throw, I'll admit. Thank you, Worm Rider. That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautifully done. I 
I must say though, you do tend to burn through this ammo quite quickly. I mean, with an auto shot of uh, times six, I guess it makes a lot of sense. Right. Okay, this gun is really growing on me. The golden guns. Absolutely growing on me. Fantastic weapon. Cat girls, it's time to move out. That might actually be really bad, depending on where they hit. Okay, nowhere near me. That's good. That's really good. I don't think we can make that, unfortunately. Um, it doesn't look like we have a backup clip either, son of a gun. Though, getting close to him might actually be pretty funny. We probably should attempt to stabilize this guy. And it would have been nice if he would have been stabilized as well. And apparently uh, one of the things hit here in the back. Uh, so glad we're not standing around that area anymore. Okay. Or there's no shooting, Captain. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna make a difference, is it is it? This might actually. Though his riot shoot is definitely not making my life uh
somebody there. Mega Pool Apeman, right, right in front of us. Right in front of us. If only I had a mortar, right? I could have just simply mortared his ass. Eh. Not really. Not really what I was going for. Ah, he surrendered. Alright, so six hostages in total, 805 score, zero deaths. We got some bravery, uh, we got some reaction, and best of all, we got plasma weapons. We got an actual plasma rifle, uh, which is, you know, the headshot of one of my ogres, and a plasma sub rifle. Ooh, two weapons and four enforcers. Enforcers. They all fit in my prison. Fantastic. Okay, um, chop, chop, chop. Oh, no riot shields here. Hmm, curious. Yeah, it's time to check out the research list. I thought we had a riot shield. That's the part that really confuses me. Maybe I kept looking at the wrong base. Anyways, ding, 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 ding. George base exceeded in Cataway. I'm not even surprised. So yeah, Cataway uh, suffers from storage space issues as well, but mostly because I've just been uh, very, very greedy and hoarding all sort of uh, random shit. And that is an easy fix. Amazon, Angel of Love and Angel of Death, Best Kind of Friend, Fencer, Nightingale, Soft Target, Sniper, and Master of the Mega Rifle. Four million, hell yes. Noble Savage, during one of your SKP, SKP escapades. You see a tribal running away from some academician examination and you will help him chase away the pursuers. He insists on following you home to see if he can be of any help to you. Now he's waiting in the cells. A tribal hunter. <laughs> Let's see how much help he really will be. So when it comes to our research list, uh, we have a stun grenade, but I don't see any stun or riot shoots related topics. Now I did apparently notice that riot shoot did not show up here after all, which is a bit curious if you ask me. Do we have all the bounties? Of course we don't. Of course we don't, we're not quite there yet. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't been really keeping an eye out on my trophies. Um, but I know that we're missing some of them. As I was saying, I know that we're missing quite a lot of them. This torments me. I'm just saying, this torments me. Uh, I think the biggest problem at the moment that we're dealing with is... What is the biggest problem that we're dealing with? I think it's Goblin Zex, to be fair. Thaya, Mutant Alliance tokens. Oh no, it's definitely the Mutant Alliance. And Jack. And to get bounty... Uh, bounty hunting shit. Was it like this? No? To get bounty hunt, uh, bounty hunt level B, we need to contact Wizbiz. And we cannot do that until we have the Red Mage. And we get the Red Mage using Scented Message 2? No, the Mysterious Patron. And we just finished the researching a Captive Maiden this month, so... Okay, anyways, uh, Mega Scorpion Hunt. So I don't need to bring all of these people with me. I can actually run a, um, a weaker crew, a more simple crew. How long is our Ogre out? 40 days. Uh, what about Lethal Selina? Uh, 13, not too bad. Okay, if we wait a little bit, um, I'll be able to take some uh, space heroes. Well, I don't particularly care for them. I want caddy warriors, let's start with that. I really would like a secret deal as well. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I don't particularly care about this mission, I just wanna get it over and done with. Good luck. Wait, 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 why am I doing this during nighttime? I'm gonna be doing that during daytime. Tribal Hunter gave us... Uh, 
healing gel. Well, I feel ripped off. I mean, thank you for the healing gel. Javelinga Stone would have really said thank you, but sure, I'll take it. <laughs> Getting way too greedy for those things. Ah, the golden apple, covered by heroes, sages, and rogues. The golden apple is a universal symbol of discord and its goddess, Eris. Not belonging to any shadow cult in particular, yet being common to all of them. It represents the element of chaos and drive to unshackle oneself from everything that binds us and taste the true freedom. Disagreement brings strength and knowledge. Too much agreement invites slavery, corruption and weakness. Armed with such a powerful symbol of independence, we can lure in an exceptional individual to join forces with us. Hey there Shin, how you doing? Wait, what were we doing? <laughs> it's... Yes. I too uh, fancy myself a... Uh... Casual enjoyer of X Pirates. Military police. We'll uh, keep going for these guys. Trying to close on the house. Good luck. I hope it will work out. Optronics computing. It's going good. Use the golden apple. I'm negotiating 500k house down to 270. Oh man, that is... That's nice. What were you reading? I didn't pay attention. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention either. <laughs> that is nice though. That is... Pretty good. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? <laughs> Military police, the assault rifle. Check of all trades, a two-handed weapon that can get you through almost any situation. Contact the gun emporium. Wow, this... Emporium. This has been... Um... Something we should have had years ago. Absolutely years ago. Who cares about the guys, right? Matter of fact, um, I, I, I feel so bad for the guy that... Um, that... Um, we're gonna assign one whole brainer to establish contact. Bug Eye. I have little idea why someone would want to go through the trouble of capturing and enslaving Bug Eyes. They're almost useless as a workforce and too smart for their own good. The Bug Eyes themselves say that they were used as guinea pigs for drug related experiments, but who would believe them? Maybe the Mutant Alliance will be interested in accepting these good for nothings. 118. Space problems require space solutions. Wait. Did I? Oh, I guess they do. Captive Wanderers next again. We're at least moving forward with researches. I'm very excited for that. Um, Ninja patch is completed. More Chateau de la Mort, please. We got it! We got a recruitable sin! Oh, that is... that is fantastic. Oh, can't believe it. Absolutely cannot believe it. Now we actually need to figure out how to recruit a sin. But this is the first step. This is the first step. Bad... no, 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 no. Sins are fantastic. I, I, I like I like gnomes, but I love sins. Then again, they kind of would act like cat girls, won't they? Yep. You ever found that mech? No. Oh, uh, you guys can go back home now. By the way, uh, you don't need to be there. 
only the biggest of sins there, uh, is there? All right, so or uh, riot shield has arrived in this base. So could I research a riot shield? Yes, I can. Yes, it's a sin wreck. But the problem with the sin wreck is that you can't really get a sin wreck. Uh, like, if I want to get a sin wreck, right? Let's see, a damage sin, I believe. It does require surgery. Whereas the recruitable sin doesn't require surgery at all, so we can basically already recruit this uh, once I've done the research. Which is why I'm so excited for recruitable sin, unlike or damage sin, which has a blocker. Um, but yeah, that's weird. Why? Uh, no, that explains. Okay. That explains. Nope. Yep. 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 I'm gonna assign three people to the riot shield, and they should be done ASAP. And then one more military police to proc all of its topics, and we're done with the military police. That being said, I have almost forgotten about the guild warehouse. Let's go. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Um, I need to make a mental note right now to check out what's up with my um Omega Raps. I think I just didn't put the clips aboard, which is the current issue. So once we put more clips aboard, we should be fine. Let's, uh, let's uh, go. Ooh. Well, that's nice. Okay, the fact that we uh, just practically did a giant turnaround is awful, but otherwise, this is, uh, this is, this is decent. I can work with this. Now, I'd love to say, let's go for caps, but, uh, let's look towards survival first. Mostly these people um, are supposed to be training, hence I don't really care what they're doing. Um, <laughs> it's as stupid as it sounds, uh, because they're supposed to be training at the moment, I'm just gonna let them be. We have a little bit of a veteran crew here, gap space run, um, uh, worm rider. They're at least gonna try to uh, see if they can maybe find some, some of the people outside and explicitly kept them, otherwise it's just mostly whack, bang, kashang, and deal with them. People inside the base. Shoot on sight if need be. Keeping the guild hostess alive might be nice. I think we're shooting the guild hostess. Didn't sound like a guild hostess to me. That's a Geo. That's a Geo. Right in the back of the head. Hell yes. Wait, do we have laser? Wait. Yeah, we, we do have a laser. Okay, cool. Okay, so we still need experience. Well, we're almost practically done here. That's fantastic. Let's keep on scouting. Yeah, it's really embarrassing that I didn't notice that uh, my right shoots were on the craft because I was so convinced that, you know, I should be able to research them. I know they're in this base, but they're not showing up. I just didn't really think to check out my craft. And I know that Junkie Julia just had her own reaction fire as well, so she can join us. Ah, look. No! 
Remember when I used to go aggressively for capping? I kinda missed that. It's okay. This is just purely a training mission because I just want to keep this simple. Just want to keep this simple right now. Level well, 3 team guild leader might actually be quite nice. And then we also have a savvy girl. I knew there were some uh, some additional people outside. Just that getting one or two people to kind of spot these uh, these fellas actually is quite helpful. Well, well, well. If it isn't a guild hostess, right? See, we're still getting some caps. Must have been that weird girl that keeps stashing stuff around in the base for her personal collection. Yeah. Ah, uh, sometimes I feel like uh, I have no control. Please don't shoot. Thank you. Oh wow, this is the last enemy. Wait, we killed the Really? Did we kill everybody inside the base? Ah, apparently we did. Let's at least attempt to stabilize these people. Maybe uh, we'll get some... Ah, Bar Taurus. That's a bit unfortunate, but that's alright. Uh, maybe we'll get some uh, additional prisoners out of it. Damn. Worst case scenario, that was not the last enemy, and I just set myself up for failure. But surely that won't happen, right? Alright. Oh god, he's bleeding for three. Well, hopefully this will be enough to stabilize him, or at least uh, get him to survive for one more turn. It was in this moment I realized that was not the last enemy we were dealing with. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> um, to, be, to be fair, I'm not surprised at all. Um... Alright, uh, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Aha! He didn't show his face, that is fantastic. So what we're gonna be doing in that particular case is we're just gonna knock him the hell out. I just realized there is no guarantee that this is also the last guy. Ah, this. So yeah, still seven hostages, six reactions, most people got experience. As always, that is exactly what I'm going for, one tactical vest. Um, good looking rocks, we're, we're apparently selling those. We got one killed hostess, which I'm happy with. And we're going to be shipping to our main base, at least the tactical vest. Uh, that's it, I think. Maybe the supply crate. Personal computers, more grapes by the way. That puts us at seven grapes. Good. Alright, so the grape situation at least has been rectified. I probably should also be doing some more gambling. Lady Luck, Nurse, Public Enemy, Veteran, Street Fighter, Nightingale, Murderer, Psycho, Revenger. The whole ship bang. So let's see. Can we gamble? No. Um, can we spin that wheel? Yes, we can. So I'm thinking that we're going to be doing it 40 times. Okay, how about we do it 100 times? Okay, perfect. And we got... B -b -b 3 M4s, 3 apples, some coupons, chocolate, Buddha smokes, chips, 1 devil's pepper, 3 eggplants, 5 glamour, 1 grape, 16 leek, 6 melons, 1 rope, 3 oranges, 2 pears, 
one potato, one three pumpkins, smelly rex, ten red peppers, and one magic card. Wait, what type of casino did we get? Titanium, iron, and copper. So what are we still missing for the uh, gambling trophy? We're missing eggplants, pumpkins. Grapes are heading in this direction. Yeah, all that we're missing for gambler is uh, the eggplants and pumpkins. Uh, okay, we'll do it one more time. We'll do it one more time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spin that wheel. Speaking about that, Mega Scorpion Hunt. We got more coupons, an Zortrium coupon, okay, chocolate, bananas, um, one eggplant, one devil pepper, one pumpkin. Still not there. Mm. Spin that wheel. I might actually end up buying um, some tokens from Jack. For 10 tokens? Wait. So this is practically like a million. Oh, that's cool. More coupons. Um, two eggplants. Four leek. Nine melons. Four pumpkins. Yeah, this is a bit of a scam. It's only if you're really desperate. I'm, I'm a very desperate person. Wait, what, what are we missing? Oh yeah, the grapes, but they're heading in our direction. Yeah, donations. Now, I think the really dis... dis oh, actually... That's not disappointing at all. I thought you needed a casino f uh, an actual casino for this. Oh boy. What will we get? <laughs> Nobody cares about the iron or the cooper co uh, coupons. It's the Zortium. And the Tritanium, I think, that are mostly interesting. Alright, come on, what do we get? I guess we won't know. <laughs> uh, I guess we won't know until after this mission. And we're dealing with Redman. Okay. I'm actually not too bothered by this. Uh, not too bothered by this. Just have to see how it goes. I want to make this a quick mission, which means that uh, we just pop them as quickly as we can. So we might actually lose some people here on the first turn, which will ultimately suck. Okay, I did not think that that will trigger a reaction fire, but that's fine, I guess. There we go. Somebody is shooting me with a shotgun in the back of the head. Who's doing that? Also, please, fuck off with fire near my engine. Thank you very much. Who keeps trying to shotgun somebody in the back of the head? I'm pretty sure we have somebody doing this. Okay. There we go. There's my reaction fire, finally. I might have been better off just, just moving away from... Uh, from the end result together and just take reaction fire uh, damage. No, no, I think we were actually doing the shotgunning. Um, as in, we didn't get shot in the back of the head, and are you fucking kidding me, really? Wow, okay, you definitely know how to piss me off. Unbelievable. I absolutely hate these little uh, bastards. Let's 
it's okay. Once I'm done with them, they'll hit me as well. How are they surviving, like, a heavy rifle shot? How are they surviving a heavy rifle shot? So let's kill them as quickly as we can, that will teach them a lesson and a half. There you go. No heavy rifle can save you there. And otherwise, uh, we're gonna have to dispense some healing. I really don't want to worry about... Um, I really don't want to worry about... ...experience at the moment. Shit! Hi. Okay. There you go. If this doesn't cause them to panic, um, I'm gonna be super disappointed. <laughs> Suckers. Okay, it actually both feel a bit like, uh... They both feel a bit like waste. The waste of my, um... Golden ammo clips. Using them right now. It was a bit weird to say. Come on, 19! Wow. Done. So, yeah. It's not genocide, it's uh, pest control. Right? Oh yeah, by the way, eat pistol. Pest control. Okay, uh, good job everybody. that we're missing. I don't think so. Zerk the Bushy can take a peek. Let's see how this is gonna play out. I do not like the blind fire that's happening there. Mm. There's a lot of things I'm not liking about this. the things I'm not liking about this. So these are some of the bastards that have been tormenting me up until this point. We're dealing with them uh, adequately. Oh jeez, there's like 500 of them. Alright. Freaking uh, things just lurking all over the place. Angles, my arc nemesis. I swear to God, I should just be, uh, should just simply RPG people who are standing on an angle. It's the quickest way of dealing with them, really. Speaking about quickest way of dealing with people, um, I do have somebody that needs healing. Who could dispense it? And those rifles actually hit a lot harder than you expect. Oh shit, you're actually hurt uh, a bit more than just one damage. But yeah, they're hitting a lot harder than I expected. Like, um, we just got hit in our front armor, I do believe. Come on, there you go. F uh, left armor, 33. Uh, I guess that makes sense. This thing does 30, 33 damage. 
So yeah, that does kind of make sense. Uh, right, let's uh, get a few more grenades going, shall we? Okay, boom shakalaka waka. Goodbye. Oh, shit, they're kind of spread out, aren't they? Mm. That's how you snipe people blindly. So those two are going to die, and then it's just these two that are just uh, chilling about. Let's see if we can fix that as well. That is one, and that is gone. Wait, a third one? Uh, two enemies surrendered, uh, two hostages taken. I fully agree with them. At that point I would have surrendered as well. Uh, nobody died. Uh, that was apparently a bit tougher than I expected, unfortunately. But hey, the advantage is we got what we came for. Which is a victory. Bag it, bag it, and look at that. Bomber, Angel of Love, Street Fighter, Lady Luck, Black Widow, Professional, Grunt, Stabber. Awarded for killing three enemies in a single turn using stabbing and melee weapons. We don't we don't get enough uh, triple kills in a turn, do we? Ah, here we go. Coupons. So the titanium coupons gave us battle rifles, battle rifle, infantry rifle, less pistol, longbow, RPG, and smoke grenades. Okay. Zortium. What am I supposed to do with a thousand fun to go? This is so fun. Go away. Um, safety goggles, ball bat, gas mask, Yushenka, Yazil, Lux Refer, Messer, Range Finder. Hmm. Tritanium a coupon, Nova's ropes. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the iron coupon, frag grenade, six shooters. Yeah. Oh. That's a hundred. That's a hundred way. Used for anything. That's what I'm thinking. Totally healthy, reticulant drink. It's fun until it goes down. It restores 50 morale at the cost of 20 energy, works only oneself. No side effects, yes. Yeah, I don't know. I think the big issue that I would have with Fungo in this particular case. Buy it. I think the big issue that I have at the moment with Fungo is that, you know, why would I want to restore morale? The only time that I would want to restore morale, I guess, is if we use something like Crack or somebody just continuously has mental breaks. I really should be moving the cars, the armored cars. It's so curious to see how easily I can forget something. It's actually pretty insane. I forgot that we even made cars. Yeah, we can. Uh, I don't freaking know. We need some lot of cocktails. The one thing that I want to do, that is why I'm currently going through the weapons, is I want to sell all the uh, weapons that we just got because I'm not planning on using them and it actually eventually will take up quite a bit of space. Uh, quite, quite, quite a bit of space. I don't think I'm going to be reusing the Painbringer SMG. Actually, I might. I'm not going to sell it just yet. Painbringer SMG is really cool, but I think we have better SMGs available at the moment. Well, then again, there's no no way that we're going to be running with like 
an insane amount of uh, golden SMGs. And they only work on cats. Yeah. We don't need a Jazil. We don't need a crossbow. We're already researching the coral crossbow, which I'm not planning on using. Uh, the harpoon gun can go, because we use harpoon carbines, and not even in this base. Uh, the other rifle can go, the infantry rifle, the battle rifle can go, uh, the boarding guns can stay, I know why we have them. Um... Daka daka daka. I don't need four. Uh, I don't need eight assault machine guns. Four will suffice. I don't need heavy machine. Uh, maybe. Not sure. Maybe I do need heavy machine guns. We'll see. And then besides all the daka 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 in the world, I also have arcing long range. I feel like every single time I come back here, I just have those items again. And launchers, the RPGs can go, and I think that's about it. I've done all of this nonsense, right? So we don't have to sell that much fun go. And alternatively, there's plenty of places that I can still ship to as well. Eh, close. Wait, do I have plenty of places I can ship to? Not really. But uh, don't let that stop me, I guess. Okay, maybe it should stop me. Let's ship over 100 fun go to the uh, to Cataway. So Cataway can enjoy in our uh, shares. Shares of victory and profit. Knock knock, some visitors showed up at their hideout. It was a lost couple whose air car had broken down nearby. They went looking for help but found us instead. <laughs> but we can still uh, we can still research a sharp guy. Now they're actually interesting to research because we have Hey, look, it's Fungo. Uh, because we've brought all of these topics. So at least queue them up, and then we also had a savvy girl. No, Sharp Girl. And Sharp Girl needs to be enslaved, so... All good things. Ding ding ding. Sharp Girl's been completed. That takes care of that. That should give us enough uh, prison space to survive. I could have always shipped into my other base. A career from the academy. Yeah, so this is fantastic. Let's send out the hunter killer to hunt and kill it. I think before we saw some escorts pop up. We saw some escorts pop up. But the career didn't show up just yet. And now the career has shown up. Come on, don't do this nonsense to me. I don't think we're gonna make it at this base. Um, Flecken has been completed, fantastic. Uh, we have libraries coming up in the crew quarter. Then we can replace this outpost and we can have more corridors over here. This is gonna be a disgusting ass base. And uh, I can already feel it. And let's also grab the uh, grab the claw. Come on, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, please. No, are we really gonna miss out on the career run? Oh my god, we are missing out on the career run. I cannot believe it. There it is. Please. Come on, claw. I need you. I need everybody on this. Let's go. God, son of a bitch! Can't believe it. It's, I'm telling you, this blind spot that we have over here is so incredibly deadly. That career run should have been mine, and it wasn't, and it hurts. It absolutely hurts. <sighs> yeah, it's time for a blip, and guess what? That requires uh, more research. Uh, 
I'm a bit disheartened by that. We should have had it. We should have had it and we didn't. Another ninja gal can be enslaved. Good enough for me. Yeah, fresher for half a day before the push into the craft again, only to uh, not go on the mission. Uh, training is still doing fine. I never actually checked out training, but our training is still doing fine. So, if I want to get... what was it called again? Um, not a recon quad. Wait, what? Recon complete? Recon incomplete? Ah, yes, the Zeppelin. We need pirate airship. That is doable. So... A light just went on in my brain. Huh, <laughs> in my brain, Ursh. Full of living space. Provides place for one brain or right, yes. This will be done. If we can get the sick bay going, that will be nice, I guess. Um Yes, and we can also get an analytics room uh, up and running, which would require us to actually um build a cultural facility. provides the still service. Okay. Hmm. And I do believe the missile provides place for one brainer as well. Yep. Okay, cool. So that's probably how we're gonna do it. Um Extractor. A sick bay, I'll probably just buy a uh, build for the uh, additional uh, space. Laboratory space. And how many hands can we still have here? Okay, so I need to ship at least two of these people away. So two peasants to my main base. That takes care of that. By the way, you guys actually are wearing shepherd armor, right. Um, but I did make the armor tactical armor for you guys, didn't I? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I just never shipped it over. Okay. We can do that. That's been taken care of. Um, now we can actually get the three brainers going. Let's get those three brainers on the go. Tick, tick, tick. Fantastic. So, that's more brainer capacity. Crew quarters coming online. Then we can uh, resort that and reorganize that once more. Um, I did mention extractor. What else are we going to need besides an extractor? We're going to be needing a steel, which we can only build after the extractor. And then we also need a mess hall, which can only be built after the steel, so that's still going to take a while. Okay, th that works though, that works though. That is a, that's a good step. More brainers is better. Bounty hunt level D, Lochner farm. No, just no. Well, actually, yes, yes, I do need the tokens. I do need the tokens. Okay, we'll make it nice and quick. Uh, that's the best way to go about this. We'll make it nice and quick. Uh. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe we shouldn't be using the hemp mortar. <laughs> uh, let's not use an. Um, hmm. Let's use a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A regular RPG. There you go. A regular RPG sounds good. One, two. Ooh. Junk Julia over here can use the hand mortar. Um, it provides stun. It shouldn't be damage, just stun damage. 
I wish we had a Hell Rocket. I wish we had an Illyrium Rocket as well. That would be the ultimate way to say, don't forget to do your taxes before the, your taxes do you. It's just still not good for kitty use. Um, oh, that's great what you're talking about. It's gonna be fantastic. building RPGs. I don't know, I think that's funny. Okay, let's get this over with nice and quick. Where's the red barn? Oh, don't tell me. Okay, it's right here. Alright everybody, let's quickly set up. Can't wait uh, to kill those people here with accidental friendly uh accidental reaction fire. The owners of the farm. Hornborn didn't do anything to deserve this. Um, maybe if it wasn't red it would have been fine. Sounds like a self-inflicted problem to me. How much do you want to bet that this is just gonna kill us? Okay, not as bad as I thought it would be. Cool. You see me save, but it's mostly uh, something that I will still take on the chin. It's just, I absolutely hate it if I blew up my entire crafting crew because of it. I wonder if we can just, uh, after this, just straight up uh, subdue the remaining people on the map and just, uh, oh, alright, just uh, quickly wrap it up. Snapshot. No snapshot. No snapshot. No snapshot. No, 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 no. We're not gonna snapshot. I was thinking about snapshotting. I was actually going to do it, and now I, uh, now I have accepted. We probably shouldn't. Hmm. Perfect. Alright, and I have one more cat crawl that is willing to uh, RPG. We drink. Um, yeah, so we might have a little bit of an alcoholic problem amongst the crew when it comes to using uh, explosives and primed grenades. We're not going to talk about the primed grenades though. Um, that is a very sensitive topic. <laughs> We're not going to be talking about that, that much I can guarantee you. Okay everybody, thank you. Uh, just one, two more banks and then we are good to go home. Boom. I'm looking at this fence, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I don't trust it. I don't trust that fence at all. I might even say I find it offensive, ha! Huh. That's, it's, it's a really shit joke that I've uh, definitely outplayed. Guess that's the offensive part about it. Okay, um, we are done here. Good job, everybody. So what do we have left? We have these little walls and that little wall over there. Um, I wonder if I can just shoot it. Can 
gonna say. There's nothing innocent about this building at all. In my defense. Okay. Rack attack bang. And the building is gone. <laughs> Our genocide. I call it best control. <laughs> Alright, we are done. Oh, uh, we're almost done. We are done. There is no more barn. Maybe I shouldn't bully the villager. Um, so can I just like leave or something? Why didn't Why didn't I think of that? Just you know, blow it up and then just leave. Let's get back into our craft. Can't abandon. It's not abandon. It's uh, tapping out. Try to be corn filled. Really? Okay. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Sure. We'll just have to sit this out uh, for a few more turns. That shouldn't be too bad. Yep. There you go. I knew there was a cat crow. I was forgetting about, but uh, problem solved. And Loknar. So, first of all, I want to just double check this. Now, the next question is, who the hell is overboard? Probably somebody standing on the staircase or the likes. Yep, there you go. So, first of all, I want to just verify my curiosity here. Yep, we retreated, so it's a big noob noob. Which is quite a bit of a shame, because, you know, you're sitting here and you're like, okay, well, I don't want to kill them. Um, but there, that does the trick. We only got 186 uh, tokens. I expect to get the full 200. 60 apples, 6 pears, a few potato sacks and wheats, and that's it. And we should have gone in Cavalier for not killing civilians, but uh, who am I to judge, right? Who am I to judge? Veteran, ha! <laughs> and public enemy. Adorable to an extent, adorable. Peasant tactical armor has arrived, and so have my two people, uh... In my main base. Let's give them the tactical armor, and keep going. Okay. Ah, cruising counselors or lead about a cool organ trade leads us to the most interested in keeping forever young, the master diplomat and negotiator, the academy counselors. We've learned that they sometimes convene in the seclusion of sea vessels, uh, vessels. By pausing as ghouls, we can get info on where and when that happens. The security will be light, but we better not let our guard down. So I'm actually quite happy that we got uh, cruising counselors, that's pretty, pretty good. Um, also, it looks like we finally can get full plate meal. Oh yes. It's gonna take a while, but we will get there. 
The coral crossbow. This crossbow used by the denizens of the depths, made from cunningly cultivated coral, lacks complex mechanisms thus allowing for faster operation. For the same reason, shooting it will cost a lot of energy and accuracy suffers. Riot Shield. A shield made of aqua plastics. Alongside being a stun weapon, it improves many resistances when carried in inventory. It does not, however, increase your armor or evasion. It does provide you with resistance to piercing, laser and plasma, which is quite significant. Very, very significant. All the way down to 50. We can now produce riot shields and the crew quarters have been completed, which is um, quite nice. Which means we can at least ship those two people in Sardine back, which will be... Ritman and Amanda Toyas. And... I guess we just have to be a bit more patient. So I am going to try to shuffle some more people into this base in the near future. Uh, I think we could actually make do with some... Either more peasants. Maybe I'll shuffle uh, four peasants into it. By the way, the peasants over here are wearing armor, right? I know it's something I would know. No, of course they don't. Oh, bloody damn, of course they don't. So Sartines is going to get access to the armored car, because I do particularly care about the armored car. The uh, 25mm AC, which probably used 25mm AC rounds. We'll get back to that here in a second. Um, and we're going to send to Cataway the other armored car, which is the Assault Grenade Launcher. And we'll play around a little bit with that. Now I do believe Cataway actually holds 25mm uh, ammunition, we'll send 8 over, yep, 8. I'm skeptical. <laughs> what type of ammo do you use? No, no, okay, that's correct. I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure if it actually had special vehicle ammo because of the times 50, but no, we're good. And we need to manufacture a total of uh, tactical peasant armor. I'm gonna keep some of my regular uh, tactical vest around, but yeah, I need to make 20 of these. Okay, how about... Yeah, I need to make 20, unfortunately. If I were to check this out, let's see. There is no way for me to quickly see this, is there? No, we have 14 peasants, so yeah, I need to manufacture 14 of them. And that should take care of that. Just to make sure that all my peasants have armor uh, in case your base gets attacked, or not in case, but when eventually your base will get attacked. Let's send out the. Yeah, we can send out the Metello to shoot this down. Why tech vest and not Legion? Because Legion is expensive. So the main issue that I have is that Legion armor, if mass produced in this particular case, would require a lot of integrated devices. And integrated devices is used for a whole bunch of things. I'm not sure how I even can pull that menu up at this point. But this is used for a lot of things, and I've always found myself in my previous playthroughs very short on integrated devices. Might not be the case anymore. It's very possible we just have a plan four of them. And making them will require optronics parts. The other way around, by the way. I think you can make them using optronic parts, but that's expensive as well. Uh, just to kind of highlight how many I'm talking about, how many suits I would need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. If I have 14 peasants over here, and then let's say 10 per base. So that's 30. That's 40. Like 50. Give or take 50 to 60 Legion armor suits, which is uh, 60 integrated devices. It might just be me being incredibly paranoid. Um, I know that slave AIs, you can run low on them as well. Yet, 
I've never really ran low on them. I just have like 400 of them laying around. But I do know that at some point you can make vessel farms. Was it vessel farms? That require... Nah, no, just one slave AI. Yeah, never mind. Just disregard all of that. You'll most likely be kept on either the Reapers, the Reticular Fusion Reactors, or maybe Slave Mates, but never Slave AIs. But yeah, paranoia. <laughs> Heavy gunship pacification. Um, tell me a bit more about how a pacification plays out. Well, a general resistance best dealt with overwhelming force, blah blah blah, scorch wind area of unrest are pinpointed, gunship, their ships, and envoys deliver elite troops to deal with the offense from the ground with extreme prejudice. So, succession of such missions will decrease our notary, but we can try beat them up until they relent. Hmm. Fighters. Gunship, so yeah, we can just shoot down the gunship. Um, I was thinking if maybe we would be better off, um, that gunship is quicker than I am, so let's send in the claw. I was thinking if we were better off just letting it do its action and something else would spawn that's way more interesting to take out. Oh no. No, 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 come on, engage me. All I can hope is that they're going to be engaging me over flat land. Or a temperate. And not inside the jungle. I really, really do hope that this is not the jungle. So, this is the Traders Guild. We're probably going to go there during nighttime. Now, the Traders do like to employ Marsac bodyguards. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Wait. Wait. Last time we fought Marshak. Or to be precise, the last time we fought the Traders Guild. They were sniping me with RPGs and grenades outside my line of sight. Do I want to do uh, do I want to do this mission during daytime after all? My gut is saying no. But my brain is saying if I don't want to get RPG from darkness, this might be the best option to do it during daytime. Shit. Shit. I'm leaning towards daytime. I'm heavily leaning towards daytime. I can think of one alternative option, which is we can actually use Lochnar to scout in the darkness because they, uh, if they wear a long coat, they have a natural uh, camouflage of five. So let's say that I were to take. Um, do I do I know about the Marshak bodyguard? I don't think I've researched them, unfortunately. I haven't. Okay. Wait. Yeah, I haven't researched the Marshak bodyguard. I would assume that their night vision is 20, which is already quite significant. So let's do it during daytime. Oh my god, okay. Alright, All right. let's not worry too much about it. Clear out the entire craft, and let's get things from scratch. So I'm obviously going to need to run a veteran crew of people. That will be D6. Though I would have liked one additional cat girl, but... That's where Meme comes in, I guess. Missing Somersault. Lickety Split. And then I need to supplement it with a few additional caddy warriors, but not Oka Narcissa. She's a bit uh, fatigued. And these people are relatively new, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Hmm. This is not the right mission for them, so this is probably um, 
just the basic setup that we're gonna be having just a few cat girls and girls to supplement it and then we are gonna slap in some additional peasants for the remainder part so the idea is we have three samurais and then the rest is gonna be fly cats I'm going to break that rule I am right now <laughs> no, 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 we're not going to be using car. I'm going to break that rule. Uh, so, one of those three experienced cat girls, they're actually going to be... Um, they're actually going to be a fly cat. I'm thinking about taking a car, but then I realized there's going to be Marshak bodyguards with RPGs. That doesn't make me feel very comfortable. big concern that I have is that they'll shoot me before I can see them. Alternatively, I could still do it. Actually... Actually... Look. This is such a terrible idea. This is such a terrible idea. Alright, um, let's check out our freshness here. Or unfreshness to be precise. So Hellborn Lioness is just not going to be joining us. I was planning on having her drive the car, but after seeing her uh, freshness, mm -mm, no way, no. Beam Domino is fine though. Noisy knave! Haha, <laughs> that's gonna be awful. By the way, let's check something out about the car that I'm kinda curious about. Uh, our reactions do suffer from it. I'm starting to think that maybe Noisy knave shouldn't be driving a car. But Wells is going to drive a car in that case. I need somebody with decent reactions. Is Freshness a fancy name for combat stress? Correct. Indeed, that is what it is. Frozen Arena is gonna drive the car. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one tiny bit. So Frozen Arena has better reactions, which means that if she drives around, it's less likely she will instantly get shot at. So we might be able to get a shot in before we get shot at. That's the general idea, at least. Alright, I don't have attack armor laying around. Okay. She is a veteran gal, though. That's the one thing I don't like. Still pretty decent armor. Okay. This is the crew. Let's roll. Let's roll. Hell yes. Amanda Troyes and Lisa Friedman. Uh, great. Okay. Um. That's that cool. I I can use this, right? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. All right. Haha. -ha. I wasn't hundred percent certain anymore, but we're golden. Uh, we're gonna be using the Kadarai outfit on these uh, flying ninja gals. Ninja gals. Uh, flying flying um, cat girls. And this time around, we are gonna be using a dagger. I'm going to update the Ketherai outfit, take uh, the Poison Dagger into account. Noisy Knave, I am very glad that you can join us. Now, how can you join us? Ah, I keep forgetting about this. Um, what's the best way you can help me? Probably with the Linux SMG, to be fair.
I like the minimalistic approach of Yin Lin uh, Beer and Bao. I think we can do better. I'm very tempted to actually give her a sniper rifle. I don't think there's any particular targets I would like to sniper. That's not true. There might actually be a few targets that I would like to snipe a rifle. I like to snipe. That works, this does not work. So I was actually originally planning on giving them a Keteri outfit as well, but we're gonna take the golden, uh, golden SMG here. Uh, only one medkit will suffice. Let's move the grenade up, move that to uh, to the side, and then we probably also would like to take. Um, well, we take two more grenades, grenades each. I'm gonna be doing the same for Mimo over here, so these two are gonna be my uh, golden SMG. Kits. Yeah, this might work. Lickety split is fine, Jira Jira Jin is fine, and Creamy Grisha is fine. Let's do this. Right off the bat, we see a plan four of enemies. Um, so, uh, well, what's the what's the proper term here? Oh yeah, shit's foobar. Let's talk strategy, shall we? Uh, we have two Marshak bodyguards and two Orbitus in front of our craft. We need to eliminate them. There's a guy standing behind me as well, which I would need to eliminate as well. The car doesn't really come in too handy at the moment, because if I shoot them, they shoot back. I'm a bit worried about the Gauss weapons, but I'm especially worried about the Gauss sniper rifle. Um, the launcher is nice and all. That is uh, fine. Those guys are fine as well. And then there's that operative. I can probably deal with this operative and jump down, but I'm concerned about the Marshak bodyguard. But if I want to move on the Marshak bodyguard, I'm concerned about this guy. Check a neck problem. Otherwise, um, I think we're already in a pretty decent spot here. I asked this captain, but this was was your idea to come here? Or one of those branch had a fit during the drinking section. Uh, Despite my brainers having uh, very crazy ideas, I uh, usually outdo them, trust me. I am purely playing this based on reactions. Um, so this works, then we can move in. That's good. Okay, one, done. What's the next problem slash step? Probably gonna eliminate him, him and him. Now that we have him basically locked in close quarter combat, there's probably a thing or two I can do about it, but the car is kinda in the way at the moment. When I say kinda in the way, I mean it is absolutely in the way. So, or as has how much? Um, 51 versus 61. Okay, let's turn it around again. Which does block this entire entrance, but we'll deal with it here in a second. Good. We're gonna we're gonna be capping the guild trap if we can, and then we have two obstacles that we still need to deal with, but we'll get to that here in a second. It's all about slowly building up. It's about the plan coming together.
That concerns me. The fact that we could do that with just one simple step is, uh, hmm, priceless. Please tell me we're gonna win this. Oh, fuck. So, we didn't have a lot of luck there. Um, never even penetrated this armor. Tell me again. Yeah, his frontal armor just really, really uh, did a number on me. I do not trust having to deal with them. I don't trust dealing with him either. But I need my cat girls. I uh, I need my cat girls here. A very dangerous reaction that I'm not very happy with. I don't think this rock is gonna keep me safe though. I don't know what else I can do. I wish you won't fly there, Dom uh, Domino. I said I wish you won't fly! Oh, you son of Absolutely trying to get herself killed right there. Absolutely trying to get herself killed. Yeah, fuck it, let's go on the offensive. I am so absolutely going to regret this. Oh, hi there, guild rep number two. Um, that's nice. No, 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 no. I just don't feel it anymore. I just, I just don't feel it anymore. Nope, 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 nope. I am 200% noping right on out of here. Um. As in, um, I, I, I don't want to go on the offensive, but too late already, um, I, I am now officially committed. Um, I, I, whew, I don't even know where to start here. Okay, no, um, absolutely hate myself. Okay, we're, we're committed, we're committed, we're committed. Uh, Helcom Highwater, we are committed. Okay, we are not committed. I am absolutely not doing this. This is mental. This is absolutely mental. This is absolutely mental. Why did I even think about doing this in the first place? Uh, why did I even think about uh, taking them head on? I'm gonna lose my car here. I'm gonna lose a whole load of things. I am misplaying this. Um, there, she'll probably bleed out or something. I hope. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to pay for this. Maybe I got just a bit too uh, arrogant. 
maybe I didn't get arrogant enough. I'd love to take the guild reps alive, but... First deal with him. There is no way on earth, there's no way on earth we're gonna survive this uh, entire endeavor. I've done something really stupid here, and we're gonna have to pay for it. So the smart thing for me to do was basically after we successfully had eliminated uh, the squad on this side, to basically pull out, keep the car inside and just not move out anymore. But I wanted to move out because I wanted to uh, deal with this group before this group uh, will wander over here and start shooting us this particular angle. That was a very very stupid mistake to make and I think, uh, I think I'm gonna feel the sting. One hell of a sting here. It's a bit of a shame because I do know I have some people who are capable of making rational, uh, rational powerful choices. When it comes to dealing with people. Well, I wish I was rational in that sense. I'm starting to think that this guild rep just straight up needs to be killed. Okay, well, good enough for me. Um, anybody who wants to do something? Nope. Um, sorry Frozen Arena, I got you killed. I probably also got Noisy Na and Nave killed, which is really sad because I was like, hey look, Noisy Nave is back. And then she practically will uh, bend over and die. He's gonna be a problem. Yeah. I was kinda hoping that if I killed him... There we go. There we go. If I kill the people... There we go. Okay. Well, that's harsh. That's incredibly harsh. Um, if I kill enough people, then they're just gonna panic and we're gonna be fine. And well, that is literally not what happened here. And now people are actually hurting and dying. Mass destruction on a global scale. They did blow up the guild rep for me. <laughs> Yes, destruction, yeah. And that was the other thing that I was kind of concerned about, that they might just simply lob out a bunch of grenades to really just uh, make me pay. Those are Hilarium, uh, Hilarium grenades as a side note. So let's patch those two back up. Let's figure out Noisy Knave's issue. It's gonna be tough though. Hey! Did I have a cat crawl over here? I thought I had a cat crawl over here, but I guess I moved her over there. Hmm. Lucky me. I think Noisy Nave, we just can't save her, period. I'm trying to think what would be the best strategy for me to deal with this. Um, so first of all... Shiver Jira Jin is in real trouble. Bleeding for two. Overstunned, I saw that. Stabilized, good. Okay, let's change the music to something a bit better. Combat Shock, take it. So the next logical step for me... ...will be what ex actually... I gotta deal with her. Let's 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 focus let's focus on the problems at hand. Which involves saving people. He's going to die from overstone though, if I'm not careful, unfortunately. That's why we have a large medikit. So I'm thinking of playing this actually very aggressively right now. It's the only way that I can think uh, that we can actually turn this into a semi-success by playing it very aggressively, which is gonna cost me people. It's the only way that I can uh, reasonably shit together. So we have three people who are wounded.
Which means that I also am gonna have to utilize my cat crawls just a bit more stabilized. Good. So we just spotted like 500 enemies, uh, which is exactly the number I wanted to see here. Okay, no, we're fucked. We're absolutely 200% fucked. Two hundred percent, absolutely, totally, utterly, and uh, wholesomely fucked. This doesn't work. What I'm trying to do here just doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, so the problem is I made a fuck up on turn one, and I refuse to uh, accept that I made a fuck up. And now it has spiraled to a point where uh, I'm I'm actually uh, gonna end up sacrificing a bunch of people. Mm, what type of alternatives do I have? I don't really have any good alternatives. Alternatives do I? I also feel like I'm incredibly low on people, and I think it's because four people just got uh, basically popped right off the bat. The best thing I can do over here, unfortunately, is face the Marshak bodyguard head on. Uh, that might be the only reasonable option, but then there is still these people uh, that I need to deal with. Uh, this fucking car needs to move. She needs to die. So Lickety Split could potentially fly over here. Hmm. No, it's not going to be good enough. No, I've I've created a problem. Uh, let's do damage control instead. So how are we going to play damage control in this particular case? I'm going to use my car. Oh, my car. That's also one of the issues for running with three less people than I'm used to. That's why it feels like we don't have that many people. I fucked up. I shouldn't. I should not have played that aggressive on turn one. We're gonna use the car to draw attention. So hopefully these three will focus on the car, which means that Lickety Split might have a chance of survival. Okay, no Lickety Split is is, is just boned. Actually, I should have probably just flown up right over here. That would have been so much more safe. Next up is the Marshak bodyguard that I need to deal with. I basically need to be adjacent to him to uh, deflect his attacks. I don't need to worry too much about the operatives here in the back, but I do need to cut through these two at least. Cutting through these two uh, exposes me to those, those little fellas. So that's another issue that we need to resolve. Um... I can only cut one of the two as well, which is a problem. I'm trying to put the pieces together here, figure out my options, because my options aren't great. If I do not deal with the Marshak bodyguard, um, he is going to kill me. But if I use uh, Lickety Split Chocolate to deal with the bodyguard, I can deal with these two. Then again, I don't think I can ever re uh, reliably and reasonably deal with these two. They are going to remain an issue. I just am lacking the firepower at the moment, and I think I should just be playing more defensively. But I really ruined that with Lickety Split Kafra. God damn it. Also, I don't have enough energy. Yeah, no, no. Um, Lickety Split Kafra is going to die. That is just how it's going to be, unless... This is not going to work. This is me sacrificing Hissing Somersault, but basically I will need to fly over, hope that he either shoots me down here and misses, or we can land in front of him and we have enough energy to deal with him. I don't know how to deal with the guild trap yet. Let's at least get the healing done, because I had my mind set on that. Ok, 
Okay, well that's not great. Might as well use the advanced medikit in that case. Alright, she's stabilized for the time being, but we are still bleeding for three, so we're gonna go down next turn. Which is unfortunate, um, because I definitely do not have any backup that can uh, help me out with that. So. Let's. Let's do it differently. Let's do it differently. I absolutely was hoping that that would have been enough to get him killed. It wasn't. Seriously, you still have a shot left in you. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I don't think uh, light landing is gonna survive. Uh, I don't. I. I don't know anymore. Um. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that we could kill him in two shots and then kill that guy in one shot, but mm -mm, not gonna happen either. I am just uh, absolutely gonna hate myself for this. We got incredibly lucky there. Um, yeah, we got incredibly lucky there. I, I'm, I'm. This is this is really really bad uh, damage control. A grenade here would have been perfect, but it's not gonna be enough. It's gonna expose me to those two. Okay, let's just let's just accept it for what it is. A suicide mission. Let's just accept it for what it is, a suicide mi mission. First we kill her. Then we kill him. And then we probably got to attempt to kill him, but that will consume all of my time units, which I don't particularly enjoy. Well, if two is the most that I can kill, then it is gonna be two of them. Well, let's see who's going to die. This is literally the best I can do, and it's actually not that great at all. Next who's gonna die is probably Light Landing or Yalen Bow. We'll see. Everybody uh, has everybody acted. Does look like it, yeah. No panic. Shit. Why are they so hellbound? Absolutely hellbound on nading me at every opportunity. Also, why can't you just die? Here, okay. Oh shit. Well, the good news is, um, yes. Um, yes. The bad news is... Uh... Okay, Shira. Shira is back, but Shira is not looking healthy. Uh, unfortunately, Shira is going to have to push through. Shira is a big boy. This really sucks. Gonna have to make some more tough decisions here in a bit. Um, I 
Though the sniper got hit in the back, we got very lucky with that. Um... He went down, that is fantastic. He's next. We have one more grenade in us. I was afraid of that. Uh, what else can I do? What else can I do? Somebody needs to patch, uh, patch her up. And I think it's gonna be Lickety Split. And Lickety Split can make that. Okay, fantastic. Wow. Missing somersault is fucked. Great. Uh, it's unfortunate as it is. Hissing somersault is fucked. We see two enemies, right? That little dipshit is still alive. So, it's A, she's on fire. B, it's a pistol, and C, there's a backboard. I was kind of hoping to cut, 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 and then fly up, but apparently the fly up part is just not going to happen. Uh, just fire, fire's not real, it's all in your head. Yeah, figured. He's still a problem that I need to deal with somehow. Light landing, can you make that? Of course you can't. Alright, let's see if we can get the Hill Mary going here. I doubt it. Yeah. Kind of sucks. Not enough energy, okay. Oh, but we did hit him! Both of them, but right off the armor. And that sucks. That's heavy gauss, by the way, that's uh, opposing us, which is also an issue. Either way, um... You're thinking of insults. Uh, I think their performance is insult enough to me, at least. Alright, cat crawl stabilized for now. Uh, absolutely have misplayed this mission though. This mission should have been done way better. How about we try to use our pistol? Oh, that sucks that it went right off the armor. We did connect, but right off the armor. Um... I'm just gonna get naded again is the problem. Alright, you know what meme? Why don't you uh, jump back into action? Okay, anybody with time units left? I feel like we're in a very desperate spot right here. I think I did no pro- Are we in a very desperate spot? Oh yeah, right, no energy. Um, how much energy do I need? Doesn't matter. Oh. Uh. Oh! Come on! Okay, so apparently we had enough energy for two more shots instead of a named shot, that's okay. Light landing is fine, and uh, we'll just have to split up a bit. Okay, well, let's see how this plays out. predicted right behind me he didn't stand a chance I'm glad by the way I didn't charge him because that would have been suicide oh 
Oh, and he bled out. Oh, that is so cruel. We would have been fine if it wasn't for him uh, bleeding out like a little uh, bastard. Life can be... Life's hard and then look a harder, right? Well... Actually, no, let's not do it like that. Yeah, that's that's sad though, that's pretty sad. Hissing Somersault uh, just got ambushed, it, it was bound to happen. Uh, we were really just at the rope of it all. I think the way that this uh, went down though, we got quite lucky, quite fortunately lucky. Like, we could have lost so many more people. Um, Just things a bit. I knew it. Oi! That's my weapon. Disintegrated. Don't make me, thank you, regret that. Uh, not the best place to be at. Um, yeah, I think in hindsight, like, even with damage control, um, this mission could have gone a lot worse. Uh, just stay down. This mission could have gone a lot worse. I think we got off relatively easy, uh, but I definitely played it way too aggressive for turn one. If I hadn't played it so aggressively, I think we would have done way better. Way, way, way better. I don't know, I was just thinking naively that we could uh, incite mass panic on turn one, when uh, obviously there was no chance to do so. Alrighty, um, yeah. Let's finish this. So, um, everybody else did survive. Severe wounds though, which is a bit unfortunate. We got two live bodyguards. That's nice. It's uh, it's it's a win. Um, we'll, we'll have to see how big of a win. It might just be minuscule, but yeah. Nah, uh, I shouldn't have played with aggressive. Actually, we can just hold on to most Gauss weaponry, I think. No, no, we can't. All the Gauss has to go. Laser, uh, we can keep. Gauss has to go. God, I can't wait until we uh, know how to use Hilarium grenades. 41, by the way. We got 41 of them. Yeah, that was, that was rough. That was a really rough mission. I made it way more difficult than it needed to be. I think I should have just uh, accept the casualties and just move on. I've been away for 10 minutes and you managed to destroy and kill every and save everybody? No, no, not everybody. Poor old hissing uh, somersault. Didn't make it out. She indeed was a space hero. One that uh, we won't be seeing back anymore because I'm pretty damn sure we cannot resurrect her. Yep. She will be missed. She will be missed. Alright. Um, we have some people that I'm actually gonna ship. Blizzardwake, Shift, Korra, Adrenaline, Poet and Lurking Puma and Drunk and Carfouche. You guys are gonna go back to the main base. Well... Cataway being the main base. I think this as a nice mission would have just been as uh, painful and bad though. Amusings of an immortal, the opponents of immortality focus on how supposedly immoral it is and how everything is supposed to die. 
To make room for them, of course. First of all, there is no immortality. Some will eventually end your existence by accident, by design, or by your own hand. When you decide you want to control the moment it will happen, instead of being at the mercy of these former circumstances. Of course, a coward will never accept that truth. A coward will say that an immortal will shy away from danger. A coward will say that an immortal will eventually left uh, will be eventually left to emptiness and loneliness after untold billions of years. Who knows what will happen in billions of years? Or is it a disturbing assumption that you and you alone get to be immortal. Be immortal for a single day first, and then another, and so on. And in your greed and envy, do not deny the chance for longevity to others who might be less scared of it than you are. Who might need more time to create something new? Who do not blindly focus on replacing their seniors in any of the ultimately laughable play pretend hierarchies? Ah. Poor Somersault. By the way, we did lose a cat armor, so that does need to be replaced. Uh, we're finally going to be tapping the altar of books. So let's get some flying catacool armors. Like, part of me is just thinking, um, would it have made sense if I just had played it way more aggressive even? But starting at turn 2. I don't think it would have made a difference. Conversion. Is conversion something I should be skipping? The so-called conversion missions are one of the staple operations of the church. Once they have room of a community whose level of faith is unsatisfactory, they get to work. First, they send in gunships to pinpoint the offenders and subdue any resistance. Once this phase is completed, shrine ships appear to perform the usual... Okay, yes. We ignore. Um, yeah, let's actually uh, take a quick peek at training here, and let's see if we can maybe hire a few more cat girls as well. So, where did this happen? Cat away. Cat girls are not allowed to be hired anymore, but I can hire as many uh, outlaw cat girls as I'd like. I should figure out the difference between those two, as a side note. Actually, should figure out the uh, difference between those two. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it is either contamination related or stat related, where a um, regular cat girl that you might recruit instead of uh, an outlaw cat girl it just has better stats. Maybe. I don't know. Right, training. Let's uh, get down to training. Actually, before we do so, Wait for the Metello to be back, because then I can finally do this thing that I've been waiting for for quite a while now. Mega Rifle Clips. All ten of them. Just put a thousand doggos on it. Alright, what else do we have? Okay, that's definitely what I wanted to uh, see pop up. Training, right, that's what I was gonna do. Training. I can notice my brain is starting to slow down right now. Ah, training's going still relatively well. Same over here, that's nice. Okay, let's tic tac toe, keep it going. I don't know why I said tic tac toe. And Raider Arms Factory, so this mission is, generally speaking, doable, but uh, it always has the potential to go sideways. We've been in a few tough spots before, let's hope that this uh, mission is going to be just as fine as before. Generally speaking, we don't have that many people die on us, fortunately. Um, I don't think we're going to be taking a car with us today, as much as I would like to take a car with me. Um, it's a refinery with explosive crap, so the AGL might not be the best option. Unless, you know, my goal is to blow everything up. I just realized that I might be foreshadowing at the moment. Um, 
Uh, we'll, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. I want some more caddy girls. Fresh blizzard wig. Down here. Wounded for six days. Not too shabby. Right, um, more cat girls are required. Yeah, let's actually uh, go in there, kick some ass. Have a good time. So, Adrenaline Bullet is actually one of the original seven girls, if I remember correctly, which is actually quite exciting. I hope that she doesn't die again because I won't forgive myself uh, in that particular case. I always like um, being able to bring people back that have been dead for like a year or uh, a year and a half. It's like a blast from the past. Only for me to blast them back to the past, but we don't talk about that particular part of it. Um, lurking Puma. Ah. Uh, I can't. I can't take Hellborn Lioness with me. I just can't. Actually, I think Hellborn Lioness ended up with no freshness because of these missions we've done before. Uh, the, the previous... Um, whatchamacallit? The previous uh, Raider Arms Factory. Lioness needs to roar. Roar slowly into the night. Uh, right? Probably have to uh, boom up her freshness by, I don't know, inflicting wounds, smoking a few cigars or some crap like that. Also, I think my girls can actually benefit for once from more, uh, more armors. Wow, that is not that many cat girls, is it? That's a bit worrisome. <laughs> I'm pretty sure our uh, turnover rate of cat girls is not that bad. Most of them just seem to be wounded to an extent. Okay, so yeah, um, ha ha ha, I've been doing a very funny joke here. Um, been loading them onto the wrong craft. So maybe it is time for us to take a car with us? Ah, damn it, he cannot uh, drive a car. Fuck you on about, game. Actually, no, I know exactly what it is on about. Um. <laughs> 53 days, yikes. EF41 days, also big yikes, big yikes. What about Noisy Nave? What about Noisy Nave? 53. Oh yeah, they're gonna be out for a few days. Alright, let's get the car. Gives me an excuse to bring... Um, gives me an excuse to actually bring my gnome with me for once. Uh, we have one person in Night Ops armor. I'd like a tech vest here, or tech armor here, and then... Uh, we are good to roll out, if it wasn't for the fact that I still need to rearrange everything that we currently are carrying with us, like blades. Black blades are good, uh, Sudoku blades are good, what else? This is a bit disappointing, um, heavy carbine is okay I guess. So I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret, I need explosives. That's the secret though, I need explosives. We'll take two Mega Rifles with us, I don't know why we have two random Mega Rifles laying around, but we'll take it. And I wanna make sure that we have a variety of weapons available. And mortar, no, 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 that's too inaccurate. Like jokes aside, that actually is too inaccurate.
<laughs> yes, the quad launcher, what possibly can go wrong with that? Okay, I think this will suffice. Let's make sure we have enough healing with us, at least. Um, any advanced medikits that we still have laying around? One. Fantastic. So the thing that I fear when we use the hand mortar is that um, I see an enemy, I shoot at them, but because we have 40% snapshot, I hit the pipe that is really close to me, cause a mass explosion that I don't intend to happen, and watch everybody die. Coordinator. Big guy Topa, Fluttering, Shana, Eerie Clutch, Shiny Taiga, and Homeless Vanilla, they're back. <laughs> yeah, factory map, exactly. Uh, bandit Warehouse. Uh, mercenaries, this works somewhat of a delicate nature. One gang of bandits is trying to double cross me, blah 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 blah. Visit this warehouse with a group, max 6, posing as fellow traders. Which means that I'm not allowed to bring a. Uh... Yeah, that's fine. No worries. Mm -hmm means I'm not allowed to bring a large group of people with me, so let's quickly do it with these uh, these fellas and we'll take two doggos with us. Oh, we should get attack armor for those peasants. First of all, Raider Arms Factory. I almost forgot about the AGL uh, drums here. <laughs> I'm sorry, why are we using Suicide Fist? Wasn't it bent last time we went into a bar and a fight broke out? Depends who you're fighting, right? I won't tolerate any suicide against ourselves, but enemies are fair game. Or unfair game, I guess, to an extent. Alright, we take a pistol with us. I don't particularly enjoy that, actually. Um, how about we use the... Oh, yeah, never mind. Yeah, that's good. Another grenade. And a med kit. And then over here we're gonna be running around with messers. When in doubt, zap zap zap. We're gonna need a boom gun on the or a friendly uh, ogre fella. How about an RPG? We'll see. Adrenaline Poet, welcome back. Please do not get yourself killed. That will be incredibly unfortunate. In the meantime, hold on to these RPGs for me, for me will ya? Uh. Mm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Should I be giving RPGs to somebody who has uh, no aim whatsoever? What can possibly go wrong, right? That's gonna backfire. <laughs> That's gonna backfire. So don't be too surprised if you see everything explode. Um, at this point this is a very likely uh, outcome. That's where some of my rockets went. Well, you don't need to aim if you're just doing a hands off shooting. LACC. Ah, uh, do we? Oh shit. Mm. Give her melee weapon. Oh man. Um, oof. Maybe, maybe we're running with too many rockets, that's a possibility. Take a boarding gun. I mean, rockets are nice and all, but... Uh, I don't really have a counterpoint to that. Rockets are quite nice. But rocketeer with precaution? Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> too many rockets, heresy. Uh, 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 uh. 
It's kinda hard to counter that point, isn't it? Like we should be using incendiary rockets. Do I still have it in me for a Caterai outfit? No, I don't. But uh, Silver Snake should save save the day. Necros, creamy Prisha. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Uh, good news is we didn't die. Can't say the same about Raider Slurcher. I thought I thought these things were volatile. That's scary. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> uh, that's about to get uh, real bad here soon enough. So yeah, we eliminated car number one. Fantastic. Hmm. I don't think there's much we can do here with RPGs at the moment, so let's uh, hold back. Make sure uh, poor caddy girls are not in any uh, real trouble, preferably. Something tells me uh, that I should actually be really, really scared at the moment. Really, really scared. Jeez, and I put somebody with an RPG up first. Okay, no, I need to be concerned about that. Does any of these people that aren't categories have any actual guns? Because I think everybody just has RPGs. Okay, oh, this is gonna be nasty. You know what I just realized? We don't have fire extinguishers, do we? Fuck. Okay, I take it back. Having an RPG peek out of the craft was a brilliant idea. Probably one of the best ideas we've had in quite a while. Um, actual lifesaver right there. I think uh, or Ogre got hit. But I can't check it because... <laughs> yeah. I can't... That, that was, that was mm, golden. That was absolutely golden. A grenade launcher. Hey, I have a grenade launcher as well. Isn't that cute? Okay, fine, whatever. Your grenade launcher is better. Also, uh, I'll, 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 I'll admit that. My rocket launcher is better than your grenade launcher, though, so. <laughs> Checkmate. Alright, what else do we have? Um, we have found a friendly person standing right over here. Uh... <laughs> well, okay. Mm. That's an interesting uh, position to find yourself in. It's gonna get even more interesting. Let's go. 
It's actually insane how they can just tank those shots and be like, eh. Force been opened. So, we spotted four people. Yeah. Maybe. Probably. Potentially. Alright, let's sit back and enjoy the show. I hope this is not too close to me though. I wonder if the guy actually is going to survive at this point. Alright, I've got to go grab some drink. I see it has ended. Okay, we got a few hits in. I don't know how many of them were agonizing screams of people dying, but I think this guy's been wiped out, that guy's been wiped out, but... Looks like the uh, Flamer Raid card over here seems to be doing relatively okay. Relatively okay, yeah. Relatively okay. Nope. For now. For now. Okay, no, 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 let's not, let's not risk it. Ah. Wait, we hit two people, that's fine. Uh, she's now on the ground floor, which is kind of adorable if you think about it. Which means that uh, there's only one logical thing left to do. I was gonna say shoot her, but I think we just need to apply more RPG. Uh, RPG. Yep, definitely got to play more RP uh, RPG. Okay, well, I mean... Ah, right, three of them died over here. Have to figure out how to deal with uh, her though, that shouldn't be that big of an issue. But we're gonna have to move out rather sooner than later, especially if we want to make sure that, you know, there is no uh, pesky people lurking right around corners and the likes. But the problem is, we are near volatile, uh, volatile areas, so... Hehehe. <laughs> gotta be careful where we shoot. I kinda was hoping that he would end up bleeding. Uh, we see two people. Right. Ooh, that's nasty. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna work, is it? Yeah, this guy is uh, struggling it off like it's nothing, unfortunately. Okay. Um, anything else that I would like to do at this point? I don't think so. I think I've done most of the actions I uh, am quite satisfied with doing. I would love to hit her, but it's too ranger danger with all of these explosives nearby. And it's a really nasty angle, so we're gonna have to play that uh, a bit more calm. Calm and collective? I can be calm and collective, I think. I hope. 
we just gotta hope that this is not uh, too tight. I don't think there's anything else really I want to do at this point other than uh, just be patient and wait it out. So we'll probably try to deal with her next turn. Um, we'll deal with uh, the Raider Slutcher next turn and then there's also this Raider Slutcher. Let's see what they are planning on doing. I don't think I have any... well, I mean, in Nicky Split Chocol I could fly over here and try and slice and dice them, but I don't think I have anybody in particular that uh, could do anything useful. Gotta know your limitations, and this is mine. Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah. The bad news is. The bad news is. Um, they didn't panic. I expected them to panic there. Alright, I am gonna probably need a legionnaire to uh, walk around with me though, or uh, at least somebody in legionnaire armor to walk around with me. Where the hell are they going? Oh, that's not nice. That's not nice at all. This weapon hits hard, by the way. It's just not hard enough. A Raider Bulls. Shit. And there's the Flame Guard. Um, I'm taking a risk here, but... I'd love to see him dead. If we kill the Raider Bulls, I'm pretty sure the rest will fall over eventually as dominoes. But it does require him to fall over, which he is currently not doing. Uh -huh. Please keep your gun to yourself. If only I had something that could help with that. Oh, come on! Those were pinpoint freaking hits! There we go, down he goes. She took us long enough. Um, yeah, remains an issue, frustrating issue for me to deal with. I think I might just uh, do an exploratory shot, there is nobody there anymore. Okay, that's frustrating. Now we're gonna have to figure out uh, where to go next. I think the big frustrating thing that I need to deal with right now is figuring out what is the right approach. I think we're gonna have to split out or split up and move to uh, to our own places. We have fly cats that really is making a big difference here, believe it or not. I can only hope that she hasn't actually uh wandered in this area, but or that area, but I don't think she has. Uh, Necros. I actually don't think I can use my Cat Samurais at the moment, surprisingly enough. I just realized, um, I still have grenades that I can lob. Geronimo. Eh, close enough. So the big problem is the flame guard can actually flame the living crap out of me. And that will probably hurt us in the long run because we will be burning, surprise surprise. Why is it that the guy with the lowest throwing has the biggest success? But yeah, so my best option is to uh, try and blow her up before she can actually do that type of crap. Most likely my best entry point is going through this and uh, using this to get up. 
Okay, let's see how it goes. Bleeding out, bleeding out, uh, Slutcher. Um, hopefully he's gonna be hurting here soon enough. I do have Frozen Arena that can still take one shot. And that was all that it took. Fantastic. I think she might have fallen onto the ground. Okay, so apparently an entire collection of people has gathered up. Because I forgot to put Junkie Julia down. Good job, me. I don't use the quad rocket in that role often enough. I really, really don't. Now we can slice and dice both of them. That shouldn't be an issue. The Raider Slaughter in the back might be a little bit of an issue, but we can probably also deal with him quite, quite easily. There you go. And then I do wonder what happened to the one that was standing uh, up and above. So many booms and we're not even done yet. Can you believe it? Really? It's the other fire that always disappoints me about the real gun. Auto fire on the LACC is way better. So yeah, um... Let's first try to still get a shot in over here before we do anything crazy. Okay, time to do anything, uh, something crazy. Starting with Necros. I think the big problem is this person in the far back. Uh, there is no easy way to get her, other than by RPG. You know, uh, that could have gone awfully wrong, I just realized. We had hit this, but we're fine for now. <laughs> air quote, air quote, for now. Oops. Shit. I fucked up with Spiral Duster. Didn't even realize it. I'm flying all the way up. Uh, to really take advantage of the darkness. Okay, um... Hmm. One thing that particularly bothers me is where did the radar guard up top went to? I think that might have been one of those two radar guards. Might have been. Too premature to kind of move over there. Um, okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to hold back for one turn, reload any potential RPGs that we've completely consumed at this point, and start moving out. Oh, jeez. Okay, Zork the Bushi is uh, done and done. Alright, Zorky. Get your ass over there. We're going to give you a new weapon, one that's uh, probably going to work just a bit better. And we also have the car. I'll probably have the car go down this, this path. I've been waiting for this. Cut it out. So probably there's one or two people who haven't panicked yet. If I had to guess. Okay, um... Right. Let's do this. I know there's a bunch of people right over here. He doesn't look very panicked. And neither does that guy. I think he might actually be my uh, main problem. 
But how do I deal with him? Obviously a grenade or two might do the trick. RPGs won't be able to uh, reach their target in time. I can also attempt to do this with fly cats, which might be quite funny. Fine. Just gotta keep up the good work. I'm pretty sure I can slice and dice through the metal plating if I so desired. He has an RPG, which is not that great actually. I like how I went from completely berserk, uh, risking my own height, to very patiently and calmly shooting RPGs now. But I think we got him. Yeah, we did. Excellent. Yeah, so I'm actually kind of afraid that I've pushed my luck to the point where uh, any further uh, shenanigans will actually get people killed. Jesus, just casually tanked an RPG. RPGs just give you the safe feeling. Uh, I mean, can't deny that part. Okay, maybe cutting through it isn't the best option. Everyone is equal in the eyes of the RPG. Equal targets, that is. Uh, reload gun and be on our way. Lo and behold, a target. Six people, by the way. Ah. Ah, alright. Ah. Alright, Zorky boy, I did mention you were gonna get a better weapon. Uh, why don't you enjoy an Omega Rifle? You're pretty good with those. Okay, let's see where we're gonna go next. <laughs> Part of me was kinda hoping everybody would have broken by this point. Also, part of me started panicking when this thing uh, started to light on fire, considering the fact I have cat girls uh, nearby. But no, we're still uh, we're still in the clear. So we have a little um, little meeting down here that I'd like to disturb. Yeah, that is why I absolutely hate factories for that particular reason. Because there's so many delayed explosions. Damn. Uh, kind of wish I could have killed the Raider Slutcher. Still not too bad. Okay, now it's actually getting pretty bad. Um, there we go. Worst case scenario, I just have to uh, lob out an RPG. But yeah, uh, we have somebody that requires healing. Let's apply healing. Um, I didn't want to use a regular medkit, but that is currently the quickest option I have available to me. Regular medkit it will be. A 
not sure what to do with this Raider Slurter. That's the part that kind of scares me. Um, I'm thinking about getting in his face and slicing and dicing him, but this is as risky as it gets. Uh... Yikes, okay. As risky as it gets. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Couldn't have done it any better myself. Thank you for the assist, Necros. And I think that is us done here. Um, that somebody's hiding somewhere, something. I um, don't think there's much else for us to do anymore. Let's make sure our cats are nowhere near this uh, thing that's about to blow. Oh, right, yes, I probably shouldn't move myself to uh, other explosive pipes, right? It would be a pretty pretty smart move not placing myself near explosives. Anything else that I really want to do at this point? I don't think so. Um, let's make sure that we split up a bit and not uh, group up. And then we just basically have to wait. That's all we can do at this point, basically wait. But it kind of is a shame because I was kind of hoping uh, it would have been the end of it all. Not for us, but for them. Eh. Done! <laughs> Five enemies surrendered, four hostages taken. We cleared this place out with zero casualties. It actually was a great success. That was an explosive victory. That is such a cheap joke to make, but yeah, it went incredibly well, matter of fact. I think we got lucky. I, I always say this, I always say this in the most nonchalant possible way. But yeah, the rockets didn't let us down, we didn't blow ourselves up, we didn't shoot at our feet, we didn't hit uh, this one tiny uh, rock that was like two centimeters above the ground that instantly wiped out the entire squad. That just screams big victory. Only a few, few war crimes. Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I, I didn't see any war crimes. And uh, I don't think anybody uh, will disagree with me. I mean, those who won't probably won't be back on the craft, but that's a side point. So we need a few additional rockets, uh, quad rocket packs and, and the likes. Let's buy those at least. <laughs> None of storage space. Cannoneer, Angel of Death, Federal Public Enemy, Nurse, Reaper, Black Widow, Murder, Nightingale, Multi-Killer. Haha, <laughs> yes. Uh, shells, uh, shells Shocked, Super Size and Tank Killer. Guild Air Sailor, The Ordinator. These large and fancy, if not exactly top notch vessels, are exclusively used by the governments whenever there is some important business to attend. Looting an Ordinator is tempting, it contains multiple life support modules, but it will cost us a large hit in political relationships. I might still do it because I think they might actually contain a general. Sharp guy, crack down. If we shoot down someone's shipping, they will send their men of war looking for us. Our ships are employing cloaking technology and the hideouts are well hidden, but with enough luck and effort, they can still be discovered. Especially those uh, which are used to launch interceptions. Our enemies are likely to fail and make idiots of themselves anyways, but if they don't, expect them to arrive numerous and armed to the thief. On the bright side, if we kick their asses, their policy is to cover up the failure and they won't return anytime soon. A crackdown is performed by ships like sentries, fighters, gunships and cruisers. If any of them manages to get within 100 miles from our hideout, expect a landing ship coming fast at it very soon. 
There are five variants of these ships and some will break entirely through any feasible AI defense, but others uh, but once the enemy gets boot on the boots on the ground, the advantage is ours. The enemy will only be able to deploy in hangars and the access lift. I'm panicking. So we've had mercenaries who came to uh, pay their respect to us. Which means we might actually have mercenaries attack our main base. Which would be absolutely nightmarish. Just lock the door. They brought the lockpicking kit, that's that's kind of like the main problem here. Or only weakness. Okay. So we'll just kick out some more metal ore. I've been hoarding this on purpose, but it's heavy. We can do without. Speaking about doing without, we cannot do without slaves. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> um, yes. Yes, it is. But in my defense, um, imagine the amount of obsidian chips we can make. Alright, Bandit Warehouse. Let's quickly get through this. Should be done in no time. Um, should be done in no time. Why are my cat girls naked? I believe this is when we say, Nya! <laughs> oh god, that fucking maid outfit, I'm telling you. in trouble. I wrote that the gangs just not allow these guys cross the harm of their people I know. How dare they? So yeah, I'm gonna have to do something I'm absolutely gonna hate and regret here. Uh, can we please not question what I just did there? Because that was pretty dumb. So there is somebody on the roof. Spring. All right, we're almost done with this mission. Just a uh, just a few more, and uh, done, done, done. Wow! I actually cannot believe that they managed to just get the jump on Doggo. I mean, not that I care. Doggos are expendable after all. Wait, why did they allow us an attack vest but not armor? What's wrong with them? They're evolving. Or maybe they just really hate doggos. I mean, I can get behind that. Oh god. They do make the nya sound. Oh. What have I gotten myself into? Bad boy. Stay down. Okay. 
done. Just a doggo. Just a doggo, that's fine. Uh, we sell whatever we can and we ship the remainder. <laughs> Poor cry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it will be pretty terrifying. I guess it kind of counts as a war cry or a uh, siren call, depending on the person you're fighting, right? <laughs> Alrighty. Lawyer, veteran, murderer, and supersize, but we did lose Abaddon, and Abaddon will be replaced with another doggo. It wasn't too bad. Ooh, I say that, but uh, that probably just means that we lost the dog armor, right? Oh no, wait, I didn't give my dog armor because I thought it was stupid. Brainers? Research? For my brainers? Oh my. Okay, let's do this. So, we have three additional researchers available now. There is a bunch of things that I'd like to research uh, besides the main things that we're currently working on, like Soldier SS. Because Soldier SS eventually leads to advanced medicine. No, that's not what I, why I care about. It's educating simple minds. That was the one. So, let's get Soldier SS going. Taberna del Diablo. That is what this place is called. It likely means welcome weary travelers or something like that. Exploring Taberna sounds like or kind of thing, so why won't we pack all the necessary party supplies and give the place a closer look? Uh. I absolutely hate these missions. I absolutely hate these missions. I absolutely hate these missions. No such things as vampires. All right, the convoy is still heading uh, home. No. Oh, fuck me. Just do this. This is gonna cost me. This is gonna cost me. I'm gonna have to pay a very painful price here. Uh, shit. So I'm currently thinking about two missions, right? That this could be. Mission number one, not too bad. I, I can deal with that. Mission number two that I'm thinking about. I hate that mission. I absolutely hate it. If there was a word to describe that mission, it would be... Uh, is it even worth doing this mission? Yes. Um... This mission will give me access to... what is it called? A land deed, which basically means free storage space, and I think you also get some money, right? And it can give you a quick silver cutlass. Which we actually will need to research. And we need them just in general. Why, why do I care what type of armor she's wearing? I don't. What's wrong with me? Alright, so the... the Barno El Diablo um, is going to be Gonzo Suno Anofo. I think so. 
<laughs> Let's get another uh, tactical armor here. Uh, maybe, maybe a few more, like ten, four, ten. God damn it! So much to make. Uh, before we actually set out and do whatever we need to do, first of all, um, I have absolutely forgotten about the Magpul people we've capped. So, let's uh, queue them up. Done. Next up, um, in my main base, let's also uh, actually finish up our enslaving over here. Well, done, I guess. Alright, so... Um, I do not particularly care how we're going to be doing this. All I particularly care about at this point is that we are going to be doing this. Which means we're going to be running a custom loadout. I want the Omega Rifle and I also would like us to use the uh, Sudoku Blade. A few grenades might be nice but I don't think it's going to be that important. Rinse, repeat, oh, Oborn Lioness. Um, fancy seeing you here. That is not a compliment, that is a... Uh, Confused noise that I'm making. Good job, I guess. Being here. Um, I might be thinking about the wrong mission here, but we will see. Uh, custom SMG will be quite beautiful. Now, the last time we really had a... Uh, showdown with our friends the necromancers it was ages ago it's been months ago since we've dealt with an actual uh, zeppelin or a actual crashed ship or necroplane or whatever the hell you want to call it um so let's hope that we've accumulated enough weaponry and death and destruction to really uh, show that we are not on the same level as them anymore because otherwise it would be really embarrassing wouldn't it still being as weak as them getting my ass kicked by them <laughs> uh, that will be very embarrassing. So, the best thing that we can do right now is just make sure that we are adequately equipped. I also want to be running around with this UAC rifle. Never mind, I don't. I will prefer to use the golden SMGs, but I'm going to leave those for my cat crawls. I'm thinking about the custom SMG though. That should do the trick. Let's get some additional grenades. Let's get some healing. Let's get some additional medkits. And... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Golden SMG, let's go. Actually, I need somebody else, uh, another one of the fly cats, to use a golden SMG. Hey, look! It's Lurking Puma! It's gonna suck if she's gonna die. It's absolutely gonna suck if she's gonna die, so let's hope that she doesn't die because I will not forgive myself. Nah, fuck it. I really don't want to be using explosives, but that is what we're going to be using. Get the right outfit one. Get oh shit. Did I really just... I really just did do that, didn't I? Shit. What was she even using? I think she might have been using an Omega Rifle? Probably. Hmm. Beats me. Wasn't paying enough attention and I had to pay for it. Um, so yeah, Necros Prime is probably going to be needing to run the Kedarai outfit as well. Rumi Prisha is going to run the Kedarai and Rumi Kafush is going to be using the Omega Rifle together with uh, grenades and healing. Okay, let's dispense some more uh, advanced medicates to those uh, who could use it, aka my Lockners probably, and then we're going to go. Okay, this mission is nothing. This is fine. This is a walk in the park. I was worried over nothing. This wasn't even one of the two missions I was thinking about, so... Um, 
Might as well just go home already. Uh, hi. Might as well just go home already. <laughs> we killed him with the last step. Absolutely, absolutely fine here. Just a saber. I think there's only going to be one cutlass uh, quicksilver thingamajig, so yeah. No, Clem, I expected you to do a bit better there, uh, to be fair. Uh, vampires are going to be the biggest problem, I think. Let's not do too much on turn one. I think that actually might benefit me more than uh, being very aggressive here. Let's be passive about that. All the werewolves in the world. in the world, yeah. And then obviously we also have our hand mortar that we could use. Can't make the dark, Captain. Okay, well that sucks. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is one of those cases where we just probably have it completely under control. Also, doing this during nighttime would have been suicidal uh, with the werewolves. Just as a friendly reminder. Nice accurate gun, by the way. Blind fire and still uh, hitting for like 80%. Either way, this should be a nice quick mission. We don't even need RPGs. vampire alive that would be beautiful but uh, that would be very 50 50 whether or not we can do that either way i think we're off to a great start today blood hunt might be a problem not that big of a problem. Cool, let's go home. Um, wait, wait, hold on, we first have to do the mission actually. Um, yeah, let's quickly blitz through this then. I'll teach these bastards that... Uh... Oh wow, okay. We have definitely outgrown them. I shall not be using RPGs. I really need to calm down. I am going a bit too hard on the RPG part. Okay. Alright, angles are apparently uh, being an absolute killer yet again. There we go. The tavern can be rebuilt. Can be rebuilt to our liking. Yes, um, that's good justification to use the hand mortar. Um, hmm. So, pa 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 pa, pa 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 pa. 
I don't like Mr. Uh, Cannon over there, but we'll deal with him. Probably should be going for accurate shots instead of what I'm currently doing. Why? 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 I, I, I don't want to deal with him right now. Fine, we'll kill him. We'll kill him. There, don't want to deal with him. I absolutely do not want to deal with him. <laughs> yeah. That is me just saying big N-O-P-P. -P. Nope. Let me remind you again that I should not be using explosives. Poor, poor vamp. The leech head is coming. The leech had it coming. Not even just a pirate, a cat girl. Not even a pirate, just a regular cat girl. Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't get it out of my head. Son of a gun, we missed. Um, no, probably what we're going to be doing is we're probably going to set up camp, uh, try to play it uh, cool, play it very cool. And before you know it, uh, we're scot free. like the werewolf roaming about. Okay, that's fine. Alright, we dunk on the werewolf and... Not sure what else we're going to be doing here. That is a recipe for friendly fire. Oh... My god. Load of the RPG. Damn it. No. No, 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 no. Take the shot spiral duster. Yes. Take the shot. Oh, that's good. That is really good. That was 100% worth it. Look at all those hits. More importantly, we knocked four of them out right off the bat. Only the best of noises. I don't know if he can just simply slice and dice me. I can't actually believe that we uh, could pick up the uh, RPG dropper weapon and still take an aimed shot. That was perfect. That was absolutely just perfect. He has a boring gun. More like a boring gun, am I right? <laughs> uh, right. I shouldn't get too cocky though, because I might just end up being too cocky and, well... It usually doesn't end very well. Alright, Hellborn Lioness, you keep moving forward. We have some cat crows who can fly around. Let's see what we have. I was gonna say not much, but then uh, Mr. Uh, Bloodhound shows up. Oh, no shot. Okay, that's fine. Let's hope that that doesn't backfire, and then we keep moving our people forward. Last stream you feared explodes today, you embraced it. Um, 
Yes, and I'm gonna swing right back to fearing it. Mark my word, I'm gonna blow myself up. And we're right back where we started. Usually how it goes. There's a reason why I hate explosives. Speaking about that, um, yeah, I don't feel very comfortable at the moment. So let's check what we see. Uh, we see four, four, five, six, six necro pirates, seven necro pirates. Okay, gotcha. Uh, anybody with time units left? I mean, we obviously have one version. Let's see what we can do here with Brass Fox. But I'm actually very worried this might result in friendly fire. It's funny because we're using incendiary things. Now we're good. I need to be careful. Yep, there you have it. That was a boarding gun that just shot me. Wait, who actually got hit? Alright, Julia, that's fine, that's fine, I can understand that. Okay, um, let's try this again. I know that I need to be closer for this, but uh, we'll keep trying to snipe them. Yep, yep, that, that worked. Worked like a charm. 10% is all you need, apparently. Let's see, a uh, big medikit. Let's uh, apply some heal. And then big pow. You know, I, now that I'm thinking about it, we probably did the vampire favor killing him so early. That way he doesn't have to see this massacre. Oh shit. we uh, don't get ourselves killed, we should be fine. I say that as I keep pushing my Lochner further and further forward. Um, also leaving their back exposed to the inevitable uh, Bloodhound that's gonna show up. Am I really killing the melee people? No, no, not all of them. Okay, cool. Um, right, let's pick up this RPG. Put an incendiary rocket and keep moving. Who's next? Right, Caddy Girls, what can you do for me? Nothing and probably nothing, yeah. Uh, we have something. <gasps> Bingo, alright. I spy with my eyes, something I particularly enjoy. We shot nuke it. Uh, we'll nuke it with uh, love and passion and... Claws? I don't know. I don't know. just want to hold on to it. Feel it in my... Uh, Built in my fingers. Don't you dare to shoot me. Well, at least we're putting the uh, Diablo in uh, the tavern. Fire everywhere. Okay, so this is when things get a bit. just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit dangerous. Um. 
Damn, Necros, that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. How could you miss that badly? Oh, onwards and upwards. That notion, Hellborn Lioness, get your ass over here. So we're practically almost done. We have this little group of people that we gotta clear out, and I don't think I might have an RPG for that. Unfortunately, my RPG does not seem to be loaded uh, quite yet. Or in position quite yet. So let me tell you a little story about what's gonna happen. Yeah. Um. If I had to guess, I think it will be called Roasted Lognar. I don't think I'm particularly happy with that recipe. No, no, just, just, just roast the. Uh, Just roast a necropirate, cool. Alright, let's uh, finish this up. Wait, what? Hmm. Alright, let's finish this up though. Hey, hello, what do we have here? Hey friend. Probably should have kneeled. Okay, I want to close the distance once more. So who do we see? One... Oh, okay, that's Ranger Danger. Yeah, I don't like... I don't like this little group right at the corner. That might be trouble. That might most definitely be trouble on the horizon. Okay, that is an awful spray. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna take another shot there. Wow. I like how we removed the tree right in front of uh, Orgel. As if they're saying, let this be a warning for you. Don't do stupid shit. Okay, uh, speaking about doing stupid shit. Can I actually hit you? Yes, can I hit you? No, but I can hit you. Cool. Way to go, cat girl. Another one bites the dust, that is good. Then we have uh, two more. And I wish I could kill Mr. Born and Gun. Good, very good. Okay, not good. Lockners have really good aim with those guns, yeah. Um, Catgirls as well. Catgirls are pretty good with uh, both bravery and reactions and firing. So let's take Lurking Puma. Okay, Lurking Puma is a terrible example, actually. Lexi Split Chocola, 80 Bravery, together with um, how much firing? 135. It's pretty decent. And reactions, right? 145 reactions. Yep. Pretty decent. Lockners work uh, quite well as well, but I think the guns might have been made for cat girls, but don't quote me on that. Ah shit, I was hoping that would be enough to drop him. But you're right, you're 100% right. It should work as well for cat girls. Uh, lock nars. Okay, anything else I would like to do at this point? I don't think so. Let's uh, wrap this up, shall we? Ah, life's good. I don't say that very often. I don't say that very often at all. Well, well, well. And that is uh, our entire magazine, so that's perfect. Uh, there might still be a vamp uh, vampiros around, a vampire. Um, should be quite easy to deal with. Oh, we don't have any rockets left anymore. That's unfortunate. 
but we expect it. I think we got most of the bloodhounds, if I had to guess. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving, let's keep grooving. Anybody with time units? Yes, Drunken Carfouche. I think I have forgotten about Drunken Carfouche for a few turns now. Oh yeah, definitely I've forgotten about her for a few turns, that's fine. I mean, after she killed the vampire, I guess she just got very happy and uh, decided to step out. I mean, I would have done the same thing, to be fair. So two or three enemies, yikes, that's where arcane rounds being fired at me. Another cutlass, cool. Catnap. A well-deserved catnap. Okay, so it turns out that most of us are actually without, um, without ammo. What else did we spot? Yeah. I think they're quite stun resistant, so what I'm doing is not the most sensible thing. Absolutely not the most sensible thing. Um, okay, that's fine. I mean, obviously it isn't fine, but uh, I'll have to deal with it. I say very, very uh, calmly. I think I need to move in my cat girls at this point. There you go. Power of the golden gun. Okay, so I was really hoping that he didn't have anything left in him anymore and he couldn't shoot me, but he did anyways. And that actually cost us like 80% of our HP, which is really unfortunate. Yeah, I just don't have anything to back this up. I think uh, we're gonna lose a gal here. I'm gonna double down. That's the best thing I can do right now, just double down. But even that is just unfortunately not enough. Yeah, it's that everybody ran out of ammo without me noticing it in time. Oh, that I go for a Hill Mary, but good luck with that. What about Drunken Kafush? I think she's the first one that moved, right? I think Drunken Kafush was the first one to move. No, she wasn't. So, um, yeah, yeah, I should have probably uh, relied on Drunk and Kafush first before I did any of this, but here we are. Okay, uh, we can patch you up, don't worry about it. Uh, we still have a few more enemies to uh, clear out. Let's uh, find them, clear them out, and then we'll be on our way. Yeah, that went south quite quickly there. I uh, definitely pushed my luck, shouldn't have done it. But in part, it's uh, also my own fault for not properly preparing. I should have had more uh, clips available. I think we just are bringing so many custom SMG that I don't have enough uh, small clips to uh, supply all, all of them with a secondary clip. Which I didn't notice. Um, yep. Vampire. Great. Also, that could have ended very poorly. Let's get some healing in here. And then we deal with the vampiros. Oh, 
Well, it's at least nice that there is a uh, shit, a second vampire because that way I don't need to worry about. Um, Or I didn't need to worry about the first guy. That's why I went so ham on him and just instantly tried to murder him. Not enough energy. Uh, so when it comes to capping, and this is the part that really sucks, when it comes to capping the vampire, um, I'm gonna need a bloody damn miracle. Also known as Fist of Steel, I suppose. Yeah, my fists weren't steely enough. Unfortunately, okay. This is where fear really takes a turn for the worst. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we just gotta get lucky and just hit, uh, tap him a few times. And hope that he just bleeds out. Or I don't know, go down from my HP damage, but I doubt we're gonna get that lucky. I need electricity and I just don't have access to electricity. Yeah. Um, I definitely overstayed my welcome at this point, uh, so let's just do what we do best and just wrap this up. Not got a zapper yet. Um, no, I don't have a zapper yet. I do have an electric whip, which is what I probably would have used in this particular case, but... Didn't bring it. Unfortunately. Something tells me that these are just going to be a few very nasty turns. I'm actually really surprised to see him punch through my armor. That was unfortunate, to say the least. Um, I do need to get rid of my reaction fire because otherwise we're going to be in trouble. I... No, no, we're fine. Okay. I just tried to go for my cut crawl. Can you believe that guy? Hmm. Alright. Well, if we kill him, we kill him. So be it. Ah, there you go. He went to sleep. Ah, he went to sleep. So where's the last enemy in that case? like this. I don't like this one tiny bit. Usually I kind of like being in the know, uh, being aware of my, where my enemies are, but right now I have no fucking clue. I am absolutely clueless. Um, luckily we have this thing called a motion track that I could have used, which I obviously I have been not doing at all. You don't need to heal no. Um, they do primarily stun damage. That's why my people went uh, down so quickly. But otherwise, no, no lethal damage, it seems at least. And there's our last enemy, right, right there, hiding uh, near the corner. It goes without saying that um, I do not even want to be remotely close to uh, that cannon. For a particular reason, oh boy. We got this. We got this. Let's uh, let's go home, guys. We did it. Big win. Uh, well, let's go for a medium win. I'd like to say big win, but yeah, we have some people that actually got wounded quite a bit. All right, we got ourselves a vampire dude. 
And we also got ourselves a uh, tavern ownership deed, which is quite important. And three whole cut, uh, quick silver cutlasses. So that is fantastic. We just got to research it and... The rest is history. Sardines can have the boarding gun. Um, the tavern ownership goes to our main base, together with the silver coins, the, uh, sorry, the old coins, the silver bars, the bloodhound corpses, vampire werewolf corpses as well, a uh, vampire dude probably, and I don't need the necro pirates at all. Scrap metal, hand cannon, one uh, cutlass, uh, silver, quick silver cutlass, so we can research it, and I don't need the smelly racks, I really, really don't need them. Way too many. And the rest we keep, I guess. Nope, gotta get rid of the Necro Pirates. We cannot turn them into a slaves. You need a dungeon, which we don't have. And we'll never be able to get. Alright, so we have more explosive uh, rockets and stuff coming in, so that should be fine. Street Fighter, Bomber, Cannoneer, Angel of Death, Veteran, Lady Luck, Black Widow, Multi Killer, well deserved. And then if we check out our hands, you can see that uh, Shiro Jiro Jin is out for 16 days, uh, 52. Creamy is for 16. Frozen Arena, 50. Red Dungeon is... Um, the Dungeon is Halfwit. Right? Dungeon Master. Jackass. It's the Jackass Captain. Coordinators. Ratman Revenge! Revengeance will be mine! Haha! <laughs> Through the way, as they say. Oh god, it's uh, 2 a.m. already. Shit! I'm sure as hell does fly if you're, um. I guess killing taverns. <laughs> Guild Engineer, the real driver, a mining tool used to drive super hard spikes deep into the rock. It can pretty easily drive them into your enemies as well. Used as a weapon, it's rather cumbersome though. Oh, what about the hand cannon? That is way worse. Alright, another engineering uh, guild engineer. Let's go. Probably gotta assign three people to it. And the Aqua Trident, one handed a uh, one handed pointy weapon normally used to catch fish by some mutants. This one though could kill a white whale. Very accurate for a melee weapon. Like all spears, it favors warriors with good throwing and melee skills. Which inevitably leads to aqua javelins. Okay, but um, that kind of does conclude our uh, shenanigans for today. What we're going to be doing next time is probably spend 4.5 million, uh, hopefully proc a few interesting researches and finish up March. But for now, I'm going to go to bed. I'd like to get some sleep. And uh, I wish everybody a good weekend. Take care and uh, hope to see you next time. Have a good one. That was actually pretty decent. That was pretty good. <laughs> Ay...